I survived 50 hours in an ocean-only world. So you know that thing you're on right now? Land? Well, I decided to remove it. I'm now stranded in a world entirely made up of just the ocean. There's no land, no trees, and believe it or not, food is rare too. I have to explore sunken ships for literally everything to survive in this world. If you come to enjoy this movie, 30,000 likes and 3,000 comments and I'll release another 50 hours on this world. It'd also mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe if you enjoy it. Also, for everyone wanting to watch me survive on the video game Raft, Ark, Grounded, or any of your favorite games, you should go subscribe to my second channel. There's already other survival game movies uploaded there waiting for you. Now, here's me surviving 50 hours in an ocean-only world. Enjoy. Oh my god, let me in, let me in, let me in! Hang on, I'm drowning! Oh god, I need to breathe! No! So don't, don't drown, don't drown. I'm drowning! Why is it looking at me? Wow, I can't believe this was Minecraft. Oh my god, I don't remember where my home is. That's an actual shark, I think. Hi, boys. Goodbye, boys. Please don't touch me. Hi, yeah. Wow, you guys are like alarmingly fast, and it's honestly a little creepy. I just heard that. Oh, he's digging. Oh, we have string. Oh my god, I'll take the skeleton more than the creeper. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. No. Oh yeah, this is what every human would just love to see. Well, very luckily, I'm able to see out super far. I think our first most important priority is going to be finding a sunken ship, which is not looking too good so far, if I'm being honest. Is that one? Wait, oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, we're saved, okay. Now, given how, um, this might surprise a lot of you, there is no land, so all of our wood until hopefully maybe I can get a sapling is going to be coming from these boats, which doesn't look like we're going to be having much luck. Let me in. And, okay. Oh my God. Wow. Well, we already got iron, so I can make an iron axe, pickaxe as well. And uh, we possibly might want a sword because I don't know how many fish out here are going to want to eat me. And I really don't want to find out. Beautiful. Oh no, I forgot I need a Oh, wow. Who would have guessed that? Apparently, I need oxygen. Hello? Why is there string? It couldn't possibly be because of this nightmare right here. Oh, my God. I do not like you. Oh. Ooh, spider crabs. No, no. Don't like. Now, if there was random... What are you? String around here? I'm also wondering if there's a fish or some other water mob in here that can also drop it because uh we definitely need to farm it is this a butthole no apparently it's nothing since i can't collect it okay anyways so before i oh god there's more of you are you digging can you dig sand now anyways since wood is going to be unbelievably important i think oh god it's going to be incredibly tedious but i think it's actually going to be wisest for us to go after every single uh, sunken ship and just mine it very luckily i can just use uh, a door like this and then i can mine really fast just to make it a little bit faster but we're most definitely going to want to stay on top of wood like this and just collect everything which also means that i might not want to build any of my bases out of wood so uh with this challenge we might be um diving into like stones and rocks you know and sand at least at least i can never lose any of these things i always just have to look up and then i can find them all wow this looks so cool whoa oh i don't think i'm supposed to be able to do this oh this is cool Wow, I can see everything, and I really wish that I couldn't now. At least I should never run out of sticks, so that's nice. But I won't lie, I'm starting to regret making a iron axe, as it's almost gone just from this one ship. My god, why do wooden ships need so much wood? Wait, am I crazy, or is there no real speed difference to me mining or chopping down all this wood while I'm in water compared to when I'm out of water? Am I going crazy? Am I drinking too much seawater? I guess we can finally stay awake during the nighttime now. Like, I don't have to rush and, like, worry about falling asleep. And we can actually experience this gorgeous ocean. Oh, my God. I love the lighting and everything. And weirdly enough, this isn't, like, creepy or scary for me. Like, this actually just looks beautiful. I say that and then watch us get one of the most terrifying nightmares to ever spawn and be conceived by humans or nature come for me and there goes my iron axe maybe since iron is kind of rare right now so maybe we shouldn't be using that for tools maybe you know just go for stone which will take me a little bit longer to uh, chop up this boat but oh well wow i can't believe this was minecraft seems pretty bright for nighttime i won't lie what are you what 
why is it looking at me? It keeps looking at me no matter where I'm at. What is, oh God, uh, no, no, night's, night's not scary. Nothing spooky, nothing spooky. At the very least, I broke down into a uh, stone so we can make some stone tools. Is this an underwater, oh God, okay. So still underwater cave. Oh, but we got coal? No, we have lost ore. Well, I guess it's good that I found it. No, 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 no. Oh God, we need to find food. Oh, we need to find food. Oh, I don't know if kelp is in this version of Minecraft because I'm in 1.16.5. Oh God. Oh, iron, please. Yes. Good, good. Put down the door. Don't, 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 don't. Let me in. Let me in. Oh my God. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So I can't swim through a two block hole. So that's really good to know. I have spider crab legs. Ew. Oh, okay. I can make a furnace. I'm not using wood to burn everything though. Oh God. Which one of you is coal? Are you coal? Oh, yes. Good. Even though this is a complete waste. Oh, well. Oh, no, no, no. I can cook the iron. Okay, so no, it, we're not wasting that coal whatsoever. I can maybe see if there's other ores for me to collect and smelt. Yeah, but very interesting. So I can mine the exact same speeds as if I were uh, in air. So that's really fun. And then let's start cooking the iron. Oh my God, please feed me. Oh, no, 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 feed me. Oh my God, that is going to hold. Huh? A hundred and fifty. Or oh dude those those spider crabs are in danger oh oh i'm killing every single one of them oh i'm sorry for any uh spider crab lovers that are watching this movie right now um yeah i am going to harvest every single one of them even in modded minecraft i don't think i've ever witnessed food being that unbelievably good no 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 oh my god whoo uh, up next, yeah, we're going back to the Stone Age, so yep, thank you. Okay, other door, because I accidentally left it, I don't know where I put you. Oh, wait, no, no, it's still back at the boat. Okay, before we go caving, let's just be smart, and we're gonna continue getting all of the wood from this. So, I guess I will see you all in a little bit. I'm sorry, am I seeing this correctly? Also, is that a spawning? Oh my god, don't come towards me! Oh my god, what are you? What are you? Why? Why are you swimming? Why are you in the water? What? What is this thing? Oh God, you have range. Oh my God, it has so much range. Oh my God. Why is there a spider? What are you? Honestly, I don't think we need an empty map. We're fine. Cold chunk. Uh-huh. Oh, you're just a regular map. Well, hey, would you look at that? Everything around me is blue, so that's surprising. Before I even go caving, we might just want to keep exploring just to see if we could find, uh, like, a nice home location. Oh, my goodness, my precious. Oh, my God, I love you. Yes. Uh, what do I not care for? Uh, 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 iron nuggets. Fine, we don't need you. Oh, but I need you. I wonder, can I breed those spider crabs? Which I honestly don't know because it is modded. So that's going to be interesting to try and figure out. Or we're just going to be swimming a lot because I'm still stunned with just how that, that has to be broken. Maybe the mod creator wanted to do 14 hunger instead of 104. Ooh, you're cool. You're almost touching the surface oh my god wait i can actually stand no way and it's the butthole again what a butthole i still don't know what you are maybe oh okay wait so you just take a pickaxe okay so what are you bubbler that honestly sounds amazing um honest, i guess i don't care for a cold chunk i don't know where that came from but you know maybe we can find more oh okay good good so here's a coral location so we can at least have it be beautiful around here and i think i one thing will be we should probably build our base like actually underwater maybe have like a lot of glass hey bud i think there's something wrong with your mouth hey wait wait, wait. look at me again hi i think there's something wrong with you <gasps> oh my god yes i just saw you in the corner of my eye oh beautiful there's more so there's something naturally hunting them down oh and there's a random stick sure i'll always take more wood <gasps> Ooh, you can't hide from me. Why, hello there, beautiful. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Okay, but this is cool. I, I like this area. And I kind of want to treat this like Subnautica. So I kind of want to have a base with a lot of like glass tubes, glass domes. And I don't want to build like just one giant box area. I want to make it like kind of tunneling. Hang on, I'm drowning. No. 
and have it wrap around like the coral reef. I guess let's just make our base down here first. Um, um, here, let's just put, you know, some doors this direction, which beautiful. Uh, up next, so we have to use our wood for this. So let's use birch first because, you know, it's birch. Wait, oh, wait, I already have two chests. That's right, from the sunken ship. Okay, beautiful. Don't need to use any wood. Oh, man, I already know there's probably some of you, like, yelling at your screen saying that I had some in my inventory so then let's just get nice and organized which i think we're all good there and let's just cook you which again that's probably a waste let's just try copper so once this is all cooked beautiful now we're just gonna cook up the rest of the copper which honestly let's then also try silver okay beautiful you know we're not gonna be wasting anything whatsoever in this world I still don't know what Lost Door is, but hopefully it's useful. Next, since I now have a shovel and we mainly want to be building with glass. What are you? Copper chunk. And since you guys are bright, I'm guessing it's now becoming nighttime. You're really cool. I love it. I'm pretty sure you're what, like a, like a shark whale or whale shark. I think that's what they were called. So you're dope. I'm just going to leave you here. I hope you, you know, don't despawn or get lost. This thing is so beautiful. Oh, I love this. And you're a titanium chunk. Oh, oh okay. Okay. No, I'm drowning! Oh, it's raining. Oh, this is so beautiful. So I hope you all are enjoying uh, this so far. So um, honestly, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be down to do this uh, for as long as you guys want to watch it. So yeah, hopefully there's a lot of support on this movie. Oh, and also I just want to say recently, thank you guys so much for all the comments. You know, I wasn't expecting that kind of uh, like support. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. I forgot about them. But thank you guys so much for the support. It means a lot to me. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, all of the comments recently on the videos are so cool. Oh my God, I don't remember where my home is. It is a baby one. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yes, okay, my base right here. Uh, what to do, what to do. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm hoping that he stops chasing me because I'm in air technically. We need to quickly make like a little hidey hole for me that I can just go down and, and stay away from this monster. Okay, let's just immediately start healing. Oh my God, dude, one shot and it almost killed me. Oh God, everything I was mining is floating down. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, okay. Uh, I won't lie. I don't know what to do right now um i think first off let's just block off that hole so at least now we're safe under here and are you dirt you're dirt okay well hello there beautiful uh i'm going to be collecting every single block of you because you are unbelievably important uh actually no no, no. okay we're gonna save the shovel for the sand yeah dirt doesn't take that long you know we got time oh my god i hear him he's right above me go away okay so after clearing out this entire place one desperately need to uh, make some torches so nothing spawns in here oh hey wow coal but now thinking about it i don't know why i placed a chest up there in the water and i put my entire base up there uh really should have done it down here so this will probably become our starter base until i you know start building our glass dome empire i don't have any wood okay so i dug that there so this should be the door and this should lead straight to the chest <gasps> oh my god wait did i just guess that i just guessed it correctly okay beautiful wow look at that i have wood um okay we're gonna gonna be a little careful you know we're, we're only gonna be making just a few torches because i still don't know if it's possible for me to get any saplings in this world i think sunken ships can actually spawn saplings inside of their chest like i'm i'm pretty positive of that well here we might as well just go through collect all of this what is that you're not coal and it just went up to the surface okay lost ore oh okay basically useless i'm guessing we might as well just start flattening out the area making it a bit bigger for our base okay so apparently copper is not rare whatsoever in this mod pack so nice it's uh, identical to regular minecraft but beautiful so this should be you know a pretty decent little starter base doesn't need to be special whatsoever the next issue is is it daytime it is not daytime but at the very least i can start moving stuff in here uh okay just very quickly just collect you just need to start moving everything down Everything that went to the surface, I would like it back. Thank you very much. Okay, we almost collected everything. Just need to be fast. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I think I've collected everything again. Come back into here and plug up the hole. Woo! Oh, whoops. Uh, also, plug up this hole. Okay. And then now I just need to go and get organized once again. And 
finally it's daytime i'm not seeing the little brat anymore so this time just so i don't lose where my base is we should probably actually just clear out a decent chunk of this and then we can build like a little staircase going up and I guess for now, just because it's so easy to get, we're just going to be using cobblestone. Build up a nice little entry point right here. And then we're going to have like a double door entrance right here, which, you know, it's not centered. Oh, well, and then we could just leave the door open. Now, the other fun part is going to be getting rid of all of the water in here. What's just to make it faster and easier? Let's just go use dirt. However, now to actually get up... Ooh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so we can actually use water to our advantage, I believe. Um, can I make a bucket? I can, but we're gonna be left with one iron. I'm not too worried. It, it honestly seems like in this world we can go and find ores really fast. But anyways, now let's take some water from up there. And then we just have water falling down. Not like that. Okay, so now after molding the water to just go down into the, these two blocks, I'm pretty sure I could just remove all of the dirt and then the water should stay exactly how it is, right? Okay, good. And not good. Okay. Well, at the very least, it's being contained up there. So I, I guess for right now, this is fine. Next up. So since we do have sea pickles, here's something fun. We can then just light up this entire building with sea pickles. So then we can always see it from far away. And get it. See it. Sea pickles. comes. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so funny. Oh, and sea pickles are actually like unbelievably easy and fast to collect. So that's nice. Okay, beautiful, and I'm about to drown. Alrighty, perfect. Also, don't even worry. After seeing a lot of the aquatic life around here, we are totally going to be making a giant aquarium and just collecting a lot of the animals here. <gasps> My precious. So yeah, as long as I just kind of stay close to around here, I already can't even see my entrance. Okay, maybe we need to fix that. Even though I put a lot of light on here and you can see it during the nighttime, maybe uh, you should get some cobblestone and, you know, just make a nice little pillar just going up. Okay, there we go. Now I should forever be able to find my base. So now we can actually go around, explore a little bit around here, see what we got. Ooh, also, yes, yes, yes. Let's stay on top of collecting these. So since it's a chunk, I'm going to assume that I need to collect nine of them and then I just craft it into a block, which they seem to be very rare, which kind of sucks. I won't lie. Uh, and then for all of the uh, Minecraft nerds out there, how do I uh, create more sea pickles, reproduce them, whatever the term is, and I'm drowning. That's cool. But I definitely want to make a lot of sea pickles because I would like to light up a lot of the sea floor around us just so it stays beautiful. And I can also uh, keep using them on the build and then just light up the outside. <gasps> Dory, what's up? Hey, Dory. Yeah, let me, let me get you. Wait, 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 wait. If I release you, are you still Dory? No, you're a cod? Wait, what? Okay, so never mind. We won't be collecting Dory or I guess like any tropical fish. They just turn into cod and we like battlefield more around here. Oh god, hi. Oh, okay, phew. Okay, whale shark whoa oh god no wait isn't this where he came from where's the trident so i'm not gonna be surprised this time i actually wouldn't mind killing you know a drown that's actually uh carrying a trident because i would actually like to have that since down uh down in this world we can't exactly have like a bow and arrow because you know we're underwater oh <gasps> Oh, that's actually huge. Now, I really, truly wish that it would be seeds instead for once in my life. I should also probably take these and probably do something with them since, you know, you can breathe from them. Everything's still looking friendly. I want to collect these really badly, but I think I'm going to wait. Like, if I continue this world into a series, then, you know, we'll just go get Silk Touch and then we can come back and collect those. But there has to be more chest, right? <gasps> yes, okay, good. Oh, okay. That's not bad. I'll, I'll actually take that because now we can at least fish and then we can get a lot of food from that until it breaks. Definitely going to be needing a way of getting a lot of string. There has to be something in this, right? It seems too important to not have. Yep. 
Figured as much and cool. Okay, we got two fishing rods to work with now. Is there anything else hidden? No! Ah, more iron broken. Ah, oh, and I can't collect these blocks now. I think I pretty much collected everything around here. There's probably some hidden chests. Okay, oh well, let's just collect everything. Hopefully make it back to our base. Oh, right, look, it's my base. Okay, well, lovely. This place isn't that far. But I won't lie, I wouldn't mind a bed just so I can sleep through the night because I can't really see. And I think next it might be the smartest to make a boat. And finally, ah, daytime. You love to see it. Now, just so we don't get too lost, I think it'll be best if we uh, try our best to just go in a straight line and... What is that? What? I don't know why I keep finding random string and stuff, but hey, I won't complain. Oh, wait, is this just regular land? Okay, I mean, I guess it's just a regular spot. Oh, we finally have armor. Oh, incredible. Like, it's not good armor, but oh my goodness, beautiful. That oh, crab leg. Oh my goodness. Oh, whatever keeps going around the ocean and randomly killing things. Thank you. I'm loving all of this free uh, loot. And you are Flint. Okay, wow, this is incredible. Oh my, oh my God, wait, that's a, that's an actual shark, I think. Is that, no, that's a whale shark. No, nah, never mind. Yeah, you're friendly, I like you. Anyways, this is bad, I've lost home. I should actually probably go right down the coordinates. Let, let, let's be smart. <gasps> Hello, let's be smarter and go check you out right now. Hello. Not bad. Okay, so we got a lot of iron again, so that's beautiful. At some point, I won't lie, if this series continues, I will 100% be trying to get some villagers. Which, hello spruce. Oh god, I actually think that I want to dissect this boat as well. Because we now have spruce and more oak right there. Uh, we are close enough to home, so even though my inventory is almost full, we're actually pretty fine on it. Also, I still need to find the other chest in here. Oh, hey, look, it's the other chest. And you're pretty useless. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think future me will thank past me for going through and uh, collecting everything on the boat, so... We might as well, plus, at least then I'll never be like, oh, wow, a new boat. Did I explore this in the past? So I think it's definitely wise to go through and just collect everything, especially the fences. These are nice, expensive blocks. I just wish that these boats had a little bit more logs. And I also wish that I could have the replay mod so that I can give you guys a really beautiful time lapse. But sadly, this is Forge, not Fabric. And ta-da, you can't even see where the boat was. And then also, here you go. Here's just like another pretty shot for everyone. The issue... Okay, no good. Oh my god, I'll never get tired of this. Oh, I hope you all enjoy this and I can continue making this a series. But very luckily, that was actually like incredibly profitable. So I'm very happy that I chopped up that ship. I swore my life I heard a drowned. Uh, I can't see them it's like i'm looking in heaven boy yeah uh i got a lot of wood wasn't entirely expecting this much but hello i think we are starting to get very good on it where you know hopefully soon we won't have to care about anything that we use you know we won't have to be you know too careful okay so it looks like the sun is coming up so that's beautiful and still raining so we're not going to be seeing too much oh god that actually makes it like really is that bone ma that's bone mail wait oh <gasps> no don't tell me it despawned yes 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 oh give me yes okay beautiful i know one of the fish actually drops that i just really wish that i could tell what was killing them because that makes me a little nervous especially since right now since it's raining i can't see too far out <gasps> oh my god what are you oh <gasps> yes oh dude i remember you guys from my original 100 days in an uh, ocean only world oh my god wait come here oh <gasps> i love them oh i'm, I'm collecting them all i am 100 going to collect every single one of them very luckily we can actually just make deep point like this put you into here however i do remember that they like to uh, swim out so we'll leave it just like that for you so we have wait why are you not unlimited hello wait why is that not unlimited i'm still so confused as to how this isn't unlimited water oh i think it's because of the blocks below it possibly okay it should be completely evened out well he is moving around so i think we're good now and luckily i have a lot of slabs so this is how we're going to keep him and uh, the future lobsters that i capture yeah this is how we're going to keep him trapped which if there's still that other one out here i would like to collect him 
or maybe we don't need to go super duper crazy on every single one of them that i find maybe we only collect the cool ones because this is the same color combo as the one in my base <gasps> more bone meal okay very nice <gasps> string okay is it it has to be you are you digging maybe it's digging and then it just drops all those items up above which you know honestly you know, probably would have been smart to keep him alive over there but i'm really hoping that they naturally respawn around here because that would be very very nice for us because then we'll just constantly have food out here but i just the fact that i need so much food i just can't leave them alone like i really need to keep on collecting them just like how I need to keep on collecting all of this iron ore. Is this kelp ore? That was copper. Oh, it's oxidized. That's cool. Wait, this is so cool. I didn't know that. Okay. We could probably use this for building then as well. And are you bone meal ore? Oh God, wait, I don't think I can collect it, huh? Nope, can't collect it. Okay, so we'll never know. Please, I need oxygen. Okay, phew. I didn't want to use my door. And we'll just keep on hunting down all these ores because why not? You know, we do need to check around our entire base. At least I have an easy way out. Ooh, should I attack you? What are you? Did I find plankton? Wait, what? Oh, wait, slime ball. Are you actually plankton? I don't know what these are, but uh, yeah, I would like slime balls. I thank you. Are there more of you? Is that? Oh, wait, here's another one. Ooh, if anyone can tell me, what is this plankton stuff? Or is that actually plankton? Well, at least he can't steal my Krabby Patty formula, so we should be safe. Crisis diverted. Oh, God, losing oxygen really? fast down here Woo! now since oxygen okay i can't even collect that uh, oh my god i'm gonna die oh god okay since oxygen goes down insanely fast this far down there has to be some kind of an oxygen tank or an upgrade at least that i can build so that i don't suffocate so rapidly down here oh my god is this air oh this is an actual air block okay that's <laughs> interesting because i'm basically going off of the subnautica rules so i'm going to assume that i can actually build upgrades the issue is that i don't see anywhere on here where i can actually put those upgrades unless maybe it's enchantments that i just need for my armor let's see can i make you into cod yep cool okay still can't collect those fish why did i just hear why do i hear zombies because there's zombies right there yeah i know little timmy but why are there zombies right here oh what are you are you sand ore nope you're ore that i also can't break okay uh you uh, any of the undead uh, in here I'm, I'm coming oh god there's skeletons which might be good because I would like to get bones from them, possibly, in a bow and arrow. Hello, oh God. Okay. Um, skeleton over there. There's a zombie. Oh, God. Okay. Hey, don't shoot me, please. Oh, God. I don't want to take damage. Okay, maybe I can lift them up, and then I can just beat them up from this point. Hi, come up. Come up here. Don't shoot me. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Stop that. No. Okay, nice. <gasps> okay, cool, cool. We got some arrows. Ow, my God. This place is so dangerous. Heal, heal, eat, eat, eat. Um, nom, 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 nom. Stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh my god. Okay, 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 we're fine. We're fine. Okay, we have a lot of iron. I am making iron armor. Oh, cool. And there's a creeper in here. Awesome. That's what I was mainly uh, hoping for in here. I was so sad that I wasn't seeing any. Uh, let's leave. I'm. Uh, let's be smart. I think I'll be able to find this place like pretty fine. I mean, okay, if the water would stop going in there, I could just leave a torch and then we can have a nice light post. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, we can be smart. I'm not dumb. You go and get sea pickles and then I just leave the sea pickles in here. Why are you... Why aren't you bright? Be bright. What's wrong? Also, why can I crawl in here? How do you make sea pickles bright? Oh, do you need water? Ah, okay. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, I never knew that. Okay, beautiful. You're still here. I'm hoping you never despawn. I don't think I need to name tag him. I mean, pretty soon we'll try fishing just to be safe. But yeah, let's cook all of our iron. Ooh, a lapis chunk. Wait, there's two different copper ores. <gasps> oh my gosh, we can make one block of wool. So very slowly over time, we'll finally be able to make a bed. We just need all of these random string to just keep popping up everywhere. Wait, you just, you just smelt them? I get an entire ingot from that? Wait, what? Oh my god, wait, oh, so I have to smelt coal but that's insane okay so these chunks are actually incredible so each chunk is one ore well then uh i kind of desperately want to find more of them but one of the biggest things that i desperately need to find is kelp so i looked into it and yes i can actually get kelp in 1.16.5 because i believe like 1.16 was the 
the ocean update. You are so cute. I love these guys. Ah, oh, please stay around my house. I love you guys. You're awesome. But we desperately need kelp before the end of this, uh, hopefully, episode, you know, episodic movie. Because I would like to use kelp for food and for fuel. And then we could just use uh, the coal for other stuff, which I don't see why there shouldn't be kelp unless it only spawns in the cold ocean. But now that I have food, Cool. Iron armor. Hello. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Baddies to the left and right. I'm not talking about the good kind. I go away from me. Thank you. I just want to keep lighting the place up just so we can get rid of all the mobs in here. Oh, phew. The worst part is how you have to go like super duper crazy with the lighting in here because I miss 1.19. I love the lighting mechanic in that version so much more. Oh dear God. This cave is going to be huge. <gasps> No, there's multiple skeletons. Oh, you don't notice me yet, though. Oh my god, you noticed me. Ow. Please stop dealing so much damage. Okay, it was only a heart and a half. I just really don't want to have to eat. Okay, so we're at least safe over here. So let's mine up everything that we can. 10. Okay, cool. So this is 10. Luckily, more iron. So now we can at least start getting a storage of it, which I'm going to assume there's another cave right below me. So no one shoot me in the back. Don't shoot or blow up. Don't need anything to explode on my back. Oh my God, wait, you dropped a bow? <gasps> Ooh. Well, sweet. Now I can actually shoot stuff. So that's lovely. Even though I said, you know, we need a trident instead of a bow. But I guess while we're in the cave system, bow is, you know, a little bit better. But I would love to get a maxed out trident in this series. Oh boy. Oh my God, why are you mad at me? I never looked at you. Oh my God, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, why are you mad at me? I swear in my life I never looked at you. Oh, no, 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 no blowing up. No, no. No, we can use our words. Use your words. Oh my god. Did I even get an ender pearl from him? No. Okay, thanks, dirtbag. No, 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 boom, boom, no, boom, boom. No, boom, boom. Oh my god, is there a creeper spawner in here? Is there a mama and daddy creeper just going to town? Why are there so many of you? Are we good? Are we safe? Oh my god, of course not. Why are there so many creepers? Oh god, thank you for taking that arrow shot for me. No. Okay, well, thanks for blowing up. <gasps> okay, good, good. It didn't destroy the torch. It just dropped it. I really, like, you have no idea how badly... Like, I really want to collect all of this dirt. Because I already know in the future, I'm going to want to make a lot of automatic farms. And I just need a lot of dirt for all of those. Okay, just keep collecting iron. That's my most important ore right now. <laughs> I use so much walking and enemies around me. Oh, this is petrifying. I don't know if copper is useful in this, but fine. We'll collect it. Oh, get lost, lost door. I don't care for you. No. <gasps> Wait, there's a spider. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I want that spider i don't want to die though don't want to die don't want to die I just heal now we can go back in hello gorgeous please yeah how much is that two string oh i love you oh and there's another oh i love you guys so much beautiful so we've luckily have covered this cave fairly decently i believe i've now collected all of the ores in here after this beautiful now, just to save on torches... Oh, wait. Okay, now, just to save on torches, what we can do is just block this off with cobblestone. And beautiful. Now, I don't need to worry about lighting that place up, and I don't need to worry about anything uh, bad coming from over there. Oh, God, I hear a skeleton. Hello? Hi, bud. You want to come down from there? Don't shoot me. Yep, thank you for taking fall damage. And beautiful. That was a good fight. Okay, now the other important part, which honestly, yeah, let's just use the shovel just to go faster. Ooh, and it uncovered iron. So maybe this will be even more profitable to go through all of this. But yeah, we desperately need to stay on top of dirt because I already know future me is going to be needing a lot, especially if I ever come into contact with a grass block, which I truly doubt that I will, but definitely wouldn't mind that. Okay, beautiful. So after that, nice. We almost got two stacks of dirt from that, which I do see this spot right here. It's just I'm starting to get a little bit nervous about collecting stuff all the way over here because uh, them we might be safe. Plus, this looks like a very tiny pocket. And there goes my shovel. Okay, dirt collected. Gorgeous haul right now. I'm just a little worried because I'm hearing a lot of skeletons. And, uh, yep, just time to run. Half of my tools are gone. And, oh, beautiful. It's my time. Okay. Oh, 
The uh, alarming thing is how uh, I kind of don't have any more food. Uh, unless I can eat sea pickles, you know, I'd be down for that. I mean, I can always just make bread, but something is telling me to leave the wheat. Like, I really don't think I should uh, be using any of it. There's three different types of copper. Are you kidding? Getting a little ridiculous there. I wonder if that's the same for all the other kind of ores. But now that we finally have a lot of iron, I think it's safe for us to leave the Stone Age. But I'm just going to keep using that axe until it breaks. Okay, beautiful. And normally I would like to just sit and wait for it to become daytime before I go out but once again since you know we're just in the water except for water spiders apparently but I don't think we need to worry about anything and I'm guessing the trident baby despawned oh my god we need some kind of food oh my god wait 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 I can turn tropical fish into cod I then take the cod or, you know, the tropical fish, technically. I could just come over here, boop, and I could just drop it on the floor. And then bada boom, bada bing, we are now getting fish. <laughs> Which, um, <laughs> it might be a little bit slower than, you know, fishing, but uh, this way is, you know, kind of funny at least. The hardest part is just finding fish. I mean, actually, okay, realistically, uh, we don't need to constantly keep going back into our home we could just put the fish anywhere around here and then just kill it don't fight it there we go come here fishy 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 now i know i love them but what would i get if i kill the whale shark oh god i need to breathe no oh god well at least i had some uh hunger stuff left over from the uh crab but oh that sucks and now we are going to start starving uh, at least i have three fish oh, i got something going for me i kind of want to kill it i'm not gonna lie oh i hope you guys don't get mad at me for this but i am desperate for food okay tanky fella aren't you please don't tell me i dropped nothing well i don't see any items above us so that's cool whale shark drops nothing cool i'm terribly sorry to all whale sharks and whale shark lovers i didn't mean it Ooh. Ooh, but I'm not sorry to all the fish right here. Hell, ah, oh, it's actually tropical fish. Dang it. What about you? Oh, <gasps> cod. That oh, was the weird plankton stuff again. Wait, do I need to do that or can I just kill you straight up? Okay, no, no. We actually have to transform it. Okay. Oh, fishies, please stop hiding. Come on, I just... I just need a few more. I can stop at any time. A little bit more. I just need to get rid of the itch. Ugh. Yeah, we really need to look into upgrading our uh, O2 meter. I... Oh god, I need way more oxygen for this world. And this is why I'm going to have to do this for a while, because I need so much food, especially to heal now. Ooh, why hello there. Well, SpongeBob isn't here to catch you. Don't touch me, please. Don't touch me. I just want to see what happens if I kill you. Okay, so we actually get a jellyfish drop. Wait, check your recipe book. I'm pretty positive I can now craft slime balls i think pretty sure if i just put a jellyfish into the furnace that's how it should work oh my god oh no your puffer fish oh god Ugh. well i wanted to get 64 but i guess we might as well just cut it here because if i get any trident drowned on me i'm going to die hi are you yep you're caught okay thank you for being my last fish okay now this is going to be really expensive but basically a boat but i think it'd be wisest if we just make a smoker especially since i have 45 fish to burn through so yeah oh 20 iron nice okay our food is done we're finally situated and not on the verge of death I hope you're not angry about me going after your auntie, but we desperately need to find like maybe like two more shipwrecks and I really, really need to find some kelp. I don't know what type of biome or, you know, what type of ocean biome that kelp spawns in, but we really need to find some. Almost like, oh, wait, I was correct. Was like, okay, so we got string. Here's some string. And then right over here, we got a stick. Right below it is this thing. So you must actually dig into the ground and pull this out. Because I don't see any other way on how it actually uh, always has these items floating right above it. And since that just gave me two more string, we're relatively close to a bed. I just want to see if I can like actually watch him dig. Because it would be nice to see if I'm correct or not. Because if I'm correct, then I suppose I uh, won't kill any around where i live are you just gonna stare at me and like 
try and square up? Like, what's going on, bud? Uh, I guess it's also just gonna be slow. So, eh, I guess I won't catch him in the act of doing it, but I guess whenever I come back home, if there's more items up here, then that's definitely correct. So maybe we should leave them alive, especially since now I have, uh, cook cod and then hopefully some uh kelp soon as i still strongly believe that kelp can actually spawn what is that that is most definitely not a guardian temple okay well you seem a lot more active so i'm going to assume that uh you're searching for some items to dig up right okay well whatever uh enjoy your time bud what are you i'm good I am so good. Oh God, I am, I'm sorry for coming over here. Okay, cool, there's a lot of you. Wow, well, uh, I do like it how I am at a distance that you can't touch me, so let's keep it at that. Okay, beautiful. Hello, what's in here, huh? Oh, there's a spawner at the center and you guys just seem constantly really angry. Okay, this is lovely. Oh, nice, nice. You guys are very fixated on following me. Okay, oh my God, wait, you just dropped armor. Oh my God, hi. Oh God, why are there more? Why is there a spider? over there uh give me that uh, uh. i would get in the boat but they're too close to it they can probably just catch me and then break it oh my god i hate the spider so much why is your range so far J just die please please die die okay good but you're not like normal drown what are you guys oh my god wait oh my god that's actually insane oh my god he dropped kelp <laughs> no way Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh, I love Drowned. Oh, I love them so much. We actually just got Kelp and Prismar Chestplate plus eight armor. Okay, it's only two above that. I think that's, isn't that just diamond armor then at that point? Uh, I would put you on, but uh, you're almost broken. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're like... 10% remaining almost, probably like 11%. Uh, wow, well, I now have Kelp, so... That's awesome. I guess all that's really left is that I just, you know, want some more sunken ships, especially logs. But I'm hoping that with a sunken ship, it can spawn in a sapling in its chest, which I think that's kind of possible. So at this point, I'll take any sapling. I'll even take jungle. Not looking good. Why are you guys so rare all of a sudden? Ooh, but we do. Oh God, there's a drowned in there. Hello? Are you friendly? Oh, you're not drowned. What are you? Okay, but you can like kind of jump. Are you even guarding anything? Oh, you are. Oh, okay. Are you running away? What is that? Oh no, it's another one of those boxes. Okay, well, hey, as long as we stay like right here, it works for me, homie. I do need to go breathe in just a second. Okay, I'll be right back. Don't worry. Okay, so gravel can be made into multiple things. That's fun. Hey, bud, if you don't mind, I'm just going to take a quick peek. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Okay, I see what you're guarding now. I'm also starting to assume that you have unlimited health. Oh my god, you're actually going to take my entire iron sword. Well, I might as well just use it all up. You know, I can just make myself a new one back at base. Dang, okay, geez, take forever. He didn't even- he only dropped that? That was it? Well, then I'm taking your chest too. Thank you. Oh my god, that's so much stuff. Heals and calms fish. What? Is that like a gun that I can just shoot off? <gasps> Ooh, let's also collect all of you. Just because why not? And the gravel might be good as well. I don't know. Like I saw some recipes that I can make with it. So it might be a cool block. Not really seeing any uh, sunken ships. I don't even see my boat. Oh, there you are. I also just realized that I never wrote down my base's coordinates. So that's a little alarming. But yeah, I'm not seeing any sunken ships anywhere. So maybe the direction that I've been going isn't the best. However, let's just turn you around and uh, let's just really hope that we could find our base. <gasps> Hold up. Hold up. Wait, where'd you go? There you are. Hey, what's up, bud? Yeah, we're gonna be smart, you know, because uh, you don't drop anything good, so I really don't care to kill you. I mean, if anything, here, I'll, I'll at least use up my sword on you. There we go. And thank you, don't come over here. Run, 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 run. Your chest. Beautiful. Okay, I'm not really gonna look at anything in there, but oh my god, that was so much stuff. Oh my god, you're so close. Oh, why do you move so fast? That is that is alarming and really creepy. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Nice. We have two of these guns. I don't know why I would ever want to heal a fish. Uh, can't lie. I'm not saying that to be mean. I just really don't see the point in like healing them. Can I get lucky and find any more of those? 
Oh boy, I really hope I see those torches soon because I don't think I traveled this far. Oh god, please don't tell me I'm lost. <laughs> oh no. Another thing I've been noticing, I still haven't even seen one sunken ship the entire time that I've been boating in this direction. Why are they so rare now? Ooh, hi items. Okay, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. That sunken ship uh, most definitely was not near my house. Oh boy. Um... Hmm. Well, at the very least, uh, you know, it is a big boat, so you know, at least we have some loot in here. <gasps> oh, but this is good news. Oh god, what to get rid of? 100% we need the carrots, that's absolutely huge. Pumpkins are cool as well, we could make pumpkin pies. But I honestly don't think we need sea pickles, we could take, you know, this, don't need you, we can take that. And I think we're good. Oh, where is my home? This is like the one massive challenge about this world is that, uh, yeah, it's really easy to just lose my base because I can't have any landmarks to base myself off of. Um, also fine. We'll get rid of a stick because uh, this amount of logs is actually huge. And then trust me, I'm not that insane to uh, mine out the entire ship. I don't care that much for the wood. Ooh, nice. Well, we now have over 64. Honestly, I don't think we need prismarine crystals. I mean, we haven't seen it yet, but we can maybe find a guardian temple in this world. And, you know, we could just build a guardian farm. So, eh, don't really care for that stuff. But I do really want to get the trap doors. Eh, we don't need rotten flesh. I don't even know why I had that. Okay, I don't need that either. No! <gasps> okay, well, time for me to go and look back on my previous footage, and hopefully I pressed F3 at some point. I have no clue where my base is. Well, uh, this is cool. I don't know the coordinates, and I can't find the coordinates. However, there's one thing that can, like, maybe help. Okay, so if I go this direction, very roughly, this should lead me to, uh, zero, zero. Beautiful, awesome, love it. But my thought is, if I just go to zero, zero, you know, like, the spawn point of the world then we should be lucky and uh and maybe spot my base from there i don't know how i became so lost like i thought i was following uh my tracks fairly decently but yeah water is not too easy maybe if i ever get any ancient debris maybe we should make a lodestone might be a good decision okay that's an interesting oh you're a boat i thought that was uh sandstone <laughs> i was gonna say wow you're a very interesting island but never mind okay not too shabby oh oh my god there's actual potatoes Ooh, we can make every kind of farm that i need oh i don't care for lapis let's be honest i like never use it it's so pointless to me and then i would love to collect the oak logs like i would really love to uh Honestly, maybe we just drop the prismarine chest plate because if I'm being honest, I don't ever see myself using it since it's almost broken. So, you know what? You go away and you come my way. And, you know, get rid of the chest plate and I get seven. Oh, wait, I get nine oak logs. Wow, that's definitely a good trade. God, I would really like to find some saplings, which I still don't know if are a thing. Hold up, wait, is that straight? Aha, uh -huh. yep, I'll always notice the string. You can never keep it away from me. What are you? Or is that a sandy island? Oh, okay, yeah, no, this is just an actual sandy beach. Huh, I won't lie, I was never expecting to see land in here, especially since, you know, there's a data pack that makes this, you know, only the ocean. Anywho, okay, that's kind of cool. It is such a bizarre green light on the horizon. It's like a reverse Aurora Borealis. Now, given how it is nighttime, this might actually help us out tremendously with finding our base, because then this way I can hopefully easily notice the torch just need to keep going this way and hopefully soon we find our base i don't know why i never wrote down the coordinates hi boys goodbye boys please don't touch me oh that's cool it's a lot of enemies wow i would love to collect all of the spiders on there but i really don't feel like fighting everything else so see you guys later have a good life oh my god there's so many on that oh no so i've made it to zero zero this isn't looking good to me oh my god so another thing that i can try so what if we just crank you all the way up to 64 huh 
Oh, Torch, where are you? Please come out. At times like these, I really wish that I was playing on regular because I would just write down my current coordinates, die, and then just come right back. And well, other than a slideshow frame rate, I'm not seeing anything. So I guess at the very least, we just go this direction. <gasps> oh my God, <gasps> yes. Oh my god, it's my torches! Yes! Oh my god, that's why I built them, baby! Woo! I'm so happy I turned it up to 64. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm home. Oh, I was almost getting to the point where it's like, okay, let's just go build a new base and basically just start over. Oh my... Oh, I love you. Oh, my home. Yes! My lobster! Oh, I've missed you! Oh, thank god. And well, since we're here, you know, we might as well just place these two down and we get our kelp farm growing. So now, we have unlimited food and fuel. So this is- oh my god, this is beautiful. Ooh! God, I'm so happy to be home. Okay, so everything's organized and we can start the farms for those. Oh, and don't worry, I finally wrote down the coordinates for my base, so yeah, I'll never lose it again. Um, I kind of want to go back out again, though. Maybe this time we just swim instead of taking the boat because I kind of want to see if I can find some more sunken ships. At least it would be nice to get some bamboo. Uh, I won't lie. Also, uh, I should probably check on the help, which doesn't even, yeah, it didn't even grow yet, so. But I just want to look around a little bit more. And I'm most definitely, oh, wow, hello. And I'm most definitely going to want villagers just for so many things. That's how, you know, make automated farms. We can get some enchantments from them, diamond gear and tools. Or we could just get this really snazzy leather stuff. Whoa! Oh, cool. Wow, this is such a good sunken ship. Wow. For the love of God, please tell me you have something good please there there has to be one more chest right <sighs> Fine, you know, it, it is a diamond, so I'll, I'll give him that. You know, it's not, definitely wasn't the best sunken ship, but I suppose it wasn't the worst. But I think we're good. I don't think I need to collect everything in here. Something's telling me to keep the rotten flesh. I don't know why I just feel like I should keep it, but yeah, we'll just throw away all the garbage in there. Ah, oh, it feels so free being able to go anywhere we want, and I just know exactly how to get back home. Another thing is, I haven't seen one guardian temple, which is really weird to me. I honestly thought I was going to be seeing, like, dozens of them. Oh god, hi. Hi, yeah. Wow, you guys are, like, alarmingly fast, and it's honestly a little creepy. Um, but I do want to kill you because last time one of you dropped me kelp. Which, you know, I will never say no to having more. Please don't touch me. Ow. No, don't touch me. Yes! Yes! Okay, so out of all of that, we got, tw oh my god, 12 kelp and 6 prismarine crystals. That is insane to me. Okay. I guess since I have kelp- wait, you just dug. I just heard that. Oh, <gasps> he's digging. Oh! <gasps> We have string. I know I just yunked your string, but please keep digging. Wait, that's incredible. I think if I get one more string, I'm pretty sure I had 12 string back in my base, but if I get one more string, I can make a bed. Wait, no, no, no. I had 11 string back at base. So now I have 12. So we can actually make a bed when we get back home. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Hi, bud. Oh my God, what you're digging? You just put your claws down. <gasps> yes, yes. What are you digging up? <gasps> yes. No, I'm gonna drown. No, 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 no. <gasps> what did you dig up? Oh, no, that's a fish. Never mind. Oh, <gasps> you got string. Yes. Oh, my God. We can make a bed. For sure, we can make a bed now. Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, never mind. You know how early on, like, the beginning of the movie, how I said, like, I hated them because, like, they're really creepy. Yeah, you know what? On second thought, maybe they're actually, like, really fine and they're just misunderstood and they're actually really amazing. Also, don't mind me. Just definitely need to stay on top of all these rocks because they sure rock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my lord, it's a family gathering of beautiful item collectors for me. Why, hello? Okay, maybe I should camp around here for a little bit, huh? Yep, yep, definitely should because they are giving me nice stuff. Even though it's only sticks, it's actually huge that I'm getting it from them for free. You don't attack, right? No, okay, good, you're just creepy. There's also a cave right below us. All right, let's see what's down here, huh? I heard some spiders and, ooh, definitely don't mind me uh, collecting some coal of which, whew, okay, I feel got to, oh God. Okay, oh my God, ooh, wait. Okay, I was not expecting that. I, I was actually just collecting the coal. I didn't know that I was gonna go straight into an abandoned mine shaft. Oh God, hi buddy. Yeah, stay up there. Ooh, string. 
Yes. Oh my God, there's more string and everything. Wow. Why is this place so popular with uh, spider crabs? Oh my God, I love you all. There we go. We can mark up the entrance at least so it can stay bright for us. Oh God, I, I guess we can go explore this place. It, it should be really profitable and good for us. Might be good to go back home and drop off everything, but I guess we could just camp out here for a little bit and just, you know, kind of see all the good stuff. Oh my god, there's so many ores. I'm thinking of future me right now, and I feel like future me will be very grateful if I get rails. Also, hello string. And then I would collect all the wood from in here, but I feel like that's just overboard and it would take way too much time. Lead ore. I really hope all of this has a purpose and it's actually useful for me to be capturing, or not capturing, but uh, collecting all of this. Another thing, so if I do more episodes in this world and you know you guys like them enough, how do I use the create mod? Because <laughs> I have the create mod in this mod pack, but I have no idea how to go about it whatsoever. So if there's any uh, create mod experts out there, I would greatly appreciate it if you know I can get like some direction on what to do and you know how to do stuff wait i can actually collect the bone meal ore now what are you zinc okay i'll be good for our diet however things are starting to get really bad uh i have a full inventory actually here we could just hold on to sticks so now we at least have an extra slot but things are not looking too good for us Oh my god, a mushroom. Oh god, do I collect the mushroom? I hear so many spiders down there. Oh god, no. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, let's collect it, why not? Uh, just, oh god, uh, uh, I don't know what to drop for it. Please don't come over here. Um, um, uh, we don't need diorite. Diorite's ugly. No one likes it. Okay, good, we got the mushroom. God, there's so much to this place. Okay, you know what? Here, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna write down the coordinates to the entrance that I made for this place. We're gonna go back home, drop off everything, and then come right back. You are really scary. I was not expecting you to be right there. Also, there's a lot of items up here for us. Very nice. Oh my god, we have so much string. Okay, beautiful. Now I can always find my way back here. <laughs> That's right. I'm kind of a master. Yeah, I know where my house is. Ah, look at that. Wasn't even worried. And then let's quickly go back. Because I'm going to, you know, using, you know, part of my super massive brain, it might be smartest to to go back there. Oh, uh, right now, during daytime. Oh, finally. Wow, one of you grew uh, just a little bit. But let's plant all of you before we head out. Now you're growing fast. There we go. That's the kelp that I'm used to. Okay, but in... Oh, oh cool. Yeah, you have one left. Okay, Um, will this break you? No, that won't. Okay, well this? No, of course not. Okay, what if I mine you? Is that? There we go. And we should be good on the iron pick, but definitely now while it is sun out, uh, yeah, let's definitely go back to the mine shaft. Because I'm only thinking that it's better to go into a, an abandoned mine shaft during the day, just because maybe... No, no, it was nighttime. Because now all the mobs are going to be trying to spawn down there, but... Regardless, I don't even think it matters because uh, there's water up here. Nothing can spawn up here. Alrighty, there you are. Hello. Hopefully still no baddies up here. Still looks friendly. That's what we like to see. Yeah, part of me is starting to realize that maybe ores aren't exactly you know, that important because wow, do we find them uh, quite often and in humongous clusters. Which, don't get me wrong, it's actually like really, really nice. It means that I have to mine a lot less. Ah, finally, no more water. Why, hello there, chest. Which also means free mine cart. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Wait, I can actually make an anvil. I could put that on a diamond pick, and I now have enough diamonds to actually- Oh my god. Oh, oh, this place was amazing to come into. My word, I love this world. My luck is insane. Just keep collecting all the string. Then I can make a lot of fishing rods. My god, there's so much iron. We might have to make a makeshift base in here. I, I know I didn't think that I was going to need another pick, but it's about to break like right now. <gasps> oh god, wait. Oh no, how much can I mine? Six? We, I might've just caught that right at the perfect time. Oh, can I make a furnace? Oh my God, eight. Oh, oh I caught that at the absolute perfect time. 
Oh, I'm amazing. My luck knows no bounds. Okay, beautiful. Make ourselves a furnace. You go there. I absolutely hate how I keep hearing everything around me. Looks safe in here. And I guess while we just wait for the iron to, you know, cook, which really won't take that long, I guess we can just go around and at least collect some of the stuff in here. Might as well. And might as well just make everything else into torches just to clear up that little spot. I can't lie. I really don't care to bring these with me. It would just take up uh, important inventory space. Oh, this is a little alarming because this is where I was hearing a lot of the movement from enemies. <sighs> Ooh, but there's iron in here. We just won't really explore and look around because if we do that, then we're just looking for trouble. Uh, I do like all of the coal, especially since it's giving me XP. So let's keep mining all of this. My God, I'm definitely in this place with the anxiety. I'm just constantly looking around. Oh my God, I just know that they're... They're coming closer to me. There's no way they're not. There's no enemies come here. Just stay away. Yep. Don't mind me. Just stealing your fences. Oh god. Hi, 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 hi. How did I dodge that? Oh, didn't even touch me. Beautiful. So I've been collecting a whole lot. Once again, we are full. Probably just look over here just for a little bit. Hi. I don't like you. Thank you. Okay, just get the iron, get the iron. And then after this, yeah, let's definitely just go and do some like nice peaceful things. You know, nice and calm. I'm still stealing all your fences though. I don't like you guys. Oh god, what? Who's shooting? You, stop. Okay, so interesting. So nice obsidian down there. Oh, cool. That's where the spawner is, but I don't... Wait, that's a dungeon. Oh, <gasps> wait. Oh my god, that's a dungeon. I don't think there's anything important up there for me. But oh my god, wait, that's a dungeon. Ooh, I want to get to that. Oh, I want to see what's in there. There we go. Okay, so doing that, boom, I cover my back, so nothing should be able to come into here. Oh god, please don't be enemies in here. Just be swift. And don't blow me up! Oh my god, I'll take the skeleton more than the creeper. There we go. Ooh, knocked him off. Knock you off, knock you off! Oh god, okay, well, at least a little bit of the bridge is still remaining. Oh my god, there's so much in there. Why is there so much in there? Why, why, why? Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop, 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 no! Okay, dear god, there's so much stuff down here. Hi, please die, please go away. Just go away, go. Oh my god, there's so many of you! Is there more than one spawner? Go away, go away, go away, go away, stay back, stay back, 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 back. Oh, just, just fall off, fall, fall. Fall. Just go away. Go. 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 Shoo. Hurry. 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 Don't spawn. Okay. Phew. Oh my god. Just light it up. Holy. Uh, yeah, I don't want you to touch me at all, so let's just get rid of you. Oh, I don't even think that was a cave spider. Oops. Oh, we could breathe. Let's see. Well, I don't care for beetroot, so I'll get rid of that. I'll take you. Don't care for that. I'll take you. Uh, I, one bone meal. Actually, no, no, no. We don't need flint, so I'll take the saddle, just because, like, why not? We can maybe do something with that in the future. Maybe some fish we could put it on. Wait, imagine I could put, like, a saddle on the whale shark. Imagine how cool that would be. And... <gasps> Oh my god, amazing. No, we don't need the bone meal. Ooh, melons. You know what? I, oh, here we go. I'll just eat the bread right now, actually. There. And boom. We could put coal in our offhand so now we can carry one more thing. I want to take the music disc. You know, I'll, I'll take it. It's just, it's so useless to me because I never, like, played them or used them at all. And I'm also going to be taking the chest. Never have enough of those. And just a quick look. Here, let me just take these. You can't walk through it? Oh my god, you can walk through it. Okay. Oh, it was because of the rail. That's right. Mobs don't like walking over rails for some reason. I think it's because they register it as an air block. I want the coal. Maybe we drop the oak door, you know? Eh. I can always just craft another one, but you can't craft coal. Okay, now I think I'm ready to go because I won't lie, I will be very sad if I were to find diamonds. I mean, I'd drop almost anything for them, but you know. Oh my God, no! <laughs> no, as I'm collecting coal and I find diamonds. Oh wait, I already had a diamond. Oh, okay, good. Phew, I don't need to drop anything for them. Wow, well, that's amazing. There's almost as much ores as there are cobblestone, which looks like I need to make another iron pick. What the hell? Don't do that. Don't, don't play that noise. We, we don't need that. We really don't need that. Don't know what I need to drop. <laughs> I can drop the shovel because it's only one iron and I have a lot of, yeah, yep. Honestly, I, I think I just dropped the shovel. My God, I I need to make a backpack or I at least need to install a backpack mod because if this is how the world is going to be in here, then yeah. Definitely need that because I don't feel like traveling back to my house every 30 seconds. There's not even stone here. It's just ores. It's just ore and it's more coal. It, oh my God. Okay. 
I think we're good. I just, I, I need to stop. I need to pull myself away from this area. No, stop. No, stop. Okay, 64 rails, 64 of like almost everything. And my only issue is uh, how do I get out of here? What is the easiest way? Uh, I can tunnel my way up, but I'm worried about my pick breaking. Nothing spawning come for me. Nothing come for me. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Uh, uh, starting to get bad. Okay, yep, let's just tower our way up. Yep, yep, yep. Pick, don't break on me now, please. <gasps> yes. Ooh, more iron. We made it. And it's daytime? No, it's sunset. Okay, well, at least now I can go home while it's beautiful. Going home, surrounded by beauty. Carrying like 27 metric tons of ore. There she blows, Captain, the light. It almost looks like I'm swimming through air and then there's water like right above me. Or if you've seen those videos of like caves where there's water and then there's like another substance that looks like water, but it isn't and it's like right below it. It's like sulfuric acid or something insane that just kills you. And it's like, oh, let me just swim into it. Oh God, I'm dying. I know at least one of you has to know what I'm talking about. I'm not crazy, I swear. Okay, beautiful. So now that we're back in here, honestly, since I have so much uncooked ore, I think I'm just gonna go through like the several hours that it's gonna take for me to just cook everything. And hey, at least now I can fill up, you know, both of those with the uh, maxed out coal. I think we should definitely make some of these. Also, how do you make a blast furnace again? I I swear my life, it's just a furnace surrounded by iron. No, of course not. Oh no, wait, wasn't it stone? Beautiful, now we have the thing that's gonna save me an unbelievable amount of time. Boop! Oh my God, so much faster. Oh, you love it. And get rid of this one. Remake you into this. You can't smelt it? Oh wait, does it need like a regular furnace? Oh, that's right. But now, finally, I can make three wool. Go over here, take three wood, and there we go. I finally have a bed. Oh my god, amazing. And oh, look at that. It's daytime, and that only took me like several hours, like half a day. Ta-da! Okay, that took unbelievably long, but I, I'm so happy that I had two blast furnaces. And interesting enough, so the lost ore, you can actually smelt it in a furnace, not a blast furnace. So that was interesting to find out. So I have no idea what any of this is for. Uh, I'm hoping that it's good that I'm collecting all of these ores. Next up though, so after using up all of the iron picks, so I now have a diamond one. So let's go through and we're going to make an anvil. And then we can go and take this fortune three book, which I'm, I still can't believe we actually got that. And then we can now have a fortune three pickaxe, which honestly, after seeing how much ores that I've already gotten and have been getting so unbelievably easy, I think we might be able to fill up multiple double chests with ores. Next up, while I was doing all of that stuff so i extended the kelp farm just a little bit so even though i do have a lot of coal we can at least have uh some of you know kelp blocks for fuel and then with them barely even being grown wow i almost have a stack of kelp now so of course i can extend that you know make it a lot bigger i'm kind of tempted to make it automated that'd be really good but before i make anything automated or even worry about farms we really need to go and build a platform or at least start a base okay good i can't put it in there and maybe we can actually build out of wood after seeing how much i have right here but I still think it'd be smarter to use stone, which I have like next to none of. Also, we should really start uh, cooking the sand into glass because if you've seen my uh, 100 days on a raft series, heavily recommend it. I kind of want to build my base out of glass just so we can see the, uh, the ocean below us while we're walking above it. But I also, at the same time, really don't want to build on top of there because like I just feel like it'd be too similar to on a raft. So, oh God, maybe, building in here would be wiser because i'm just imagining this is glass so we can still see the beautiful ocean oh man i don't know i mean some of our buildings might have to be on top and then maybe some down below like and then 
Maybe we just have like tunnel pathways that lead into it. Maybe that's how we go about things. However, before I start any of that, we need sand and I think it'd be wisest to not collect sand around our base just so, you know, things can stay beautiful out here. So first off, I think, you know, definitely we need to get away from all the coral. That'll make uh, collecting sand a lot, lot faster. And right here looks beautiful. You look like a good spot to decimate. And oh God. Okay. Well, we can only collect one layer of sand and then it's instantly gone so that sucks oh god no the ores they're coming back oh no are you coal oh god it's coal okay not bad almost four stacks that should be good enough for us for right now i mean you know we can always just come right back and get more now i just have to wait uh honestly okay you know what i'll sacrifice it We'll make two more furnaces. Wow, that looks beautiful. Ah, not ugly whatsoever. And this is when the kelp would come in handy. Nice, okay, so six blocks. We'll do three on this and three on that one. I'm curious how many blocks just one of these gets rid of. I'm hoping to God it's more than eight. And we'll see you in a bit once this is all done. Okay, so I might have left this on to like go eat, possibly fall asleep, who knows. So the glass is finished and uh, so so is our kelp farm. So I don't think I'll need to be making this automated. Do I even have the inventory space to pick this up? Oh my gosh. There's so much. And just like that. So now I'm pretty positive I'm going to be uh, very good on food for quite some time. And we should be really good on fuel now. Now, given that I do have a lot of wood and I could go the spruce route to actually build a base, but I still think it's going to be smarter if we go with cobblestone, which that's going to take forever to cook. Should also make one of you. You're going to be unbelievably useful, which can I put you above a chest? Oh, and however, knowing me, yeah, we're going to want to make a very big base and uh just a stack and a half of cobblestone is most definitely not gonna be enough and i don't want to waste any of my uh diamond pick oh god uh-huh okay so i guess we don't dig right here but I will take the iron, so thank you. But very luckily for us, I think, you know, I'm only just giving me like, I don't know, maybe like six hours of this and then we should be good. Okay, so really exciting news. So still cooking up a, a lot of stone, but it's going fairly well. The reason why I'm recording right now instead of waiting for everything to be done. So I have this huge room now. And the first thing now that comes to my mind with this place, I might actually help out tremendously in the future. I can get things to spawn in here if I remove every single torch, which I was originally going to do. But you see, as I kept mining forward, getting more stuff, a lot of resources, we have a cave. And I think my buddy despawned. Oh, no, 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 no. He didn't see me. He sees me. Oh, my God. Wait, is he enchanted? No. No. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, and of course, you didn't drop it. Ooh, but thank you for the arrows. I do appreciate that a lot. So in here, one thing that I might be able to get lucky with over time. Okay, other than creepers, that would that'd be lovely. No, don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Oh, okay. But one thing that I might be able to get lucky with over time is going to be a villager zombie, ideally too. Uh, the hard part is a witch. However, okay. The witch actually isn't needed because I can easily go to the nether, you know, make a brewing stand and okay. Is there a zombie spawner here? There has to be a dungeon, right? Yeah, no, there's way too many zombies. Oh my God. Nope. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me run by. Thank you. Okay, yep, yep, don't mind me, yep, yep, okay. Uh, the place is very dangerous, obviously. My god, there's so many resources in here. My kind of want to collect the coal, I won't lie. That's not coal. Are you coal? That's also not coal. Okay, are you coal? That's coal. However, you know, if I do more parts in this world, I can actually now make a lot of villagers. And the best part about having them down here is that I can also just make a tunnel wherever we actually build our house. And then I could just walk them into there. And especially since this place seems to absolutely adore spawning in zombies, I have a strong feeling that's not going to take that long to actually get a villager one. So let me be, I just really want to get this coal that I'm using the wrong pick for, so I'm really smart. Why do we hear skeleton? Just stay down there, buddy. Don't come over here. Trust me, nothing of value for you. Just let me mine, please! Oh god, I'm so greedy! You can't dodge me! No! Oh no. 
Oh no, 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 I don't wanna be down here. Okay, now why do I hear you, but I don't see you? That is not a combo that I really enjoy having. Okay, good, good. Okay, fine, here, you guys can blow up as long as you just don't hurt me. Perfect, okay, I like this plan that we got, or th this deal that we got going on here, hi. Oh, you're just dropping by? Thank you, love working together. Oh my God, there's so many of you. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say no to getting a villager zombie right now. You know, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be against that. I have a really nice, comfy boat for you. You know, if you wanna, if you wanna come by. Okay, nope, nope. Okay, just never go back there. That's just uh, an entrance into the ocean. Okay, cool. <gasps> Ooh, hi, beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you for the string. Wait, 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 wait. That was a different zombie sound. Is there another cave, like, right here? Hello? Any zombified villagers want to pop up for me? Okay, would anything like to pop up for me? Sounds like it's like right here. I really don't want to use this pick, but I don't feel like going back to my base. Okay, where are you? I'll bite. Don't, don't do that. No, 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 no. We, we don't need to play those sounds. Oh, <gasps> yes. Okay, you, I really don't need a predator from Alien vs. Predator here. Hi, don't blow up. Don't, 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 don't. Just go away. Shoo, don't, don't come up the stairs. This is not for you. Not for you. Not for you. Thank you. So we got lava. So that's really cool. I might actually take some of that. Where, oh, where are my zombies? I kept hearing all of you. Okay, cool. At least I can keep finding creepers. Whoa. Oh, oh hey, beautiful. Oh my God. And I have fortune three. Oh, <gasps> okay, good. Well, this pick is uh, forever saved. I'm just going to constantly repair it. Well, if the zombies weren't here, then where are they? I swear I heard a villager one. Oh God. No, I hear a baby one now. No, never mind. I don't want to find them. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think I was followed. I didn't exactly get a look, but at least while we're here, we can go and empty our inventory. Okay. So nearly done with all preparations for the base. And honestly, okay. So probably shouldn't waste that much time looking in here just to see, you know, if we could find a zombified villager. Oh God. It's still the baby. Oh no, 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 no. Uh-uh. And honestly, oh my God, it doesn't really matter. Stop pushing it at me. Oh my God, wait, we just got a, a record player from, oh, that's sick. But it doesn't exactly matter if we find a zombified villager, really, because you know, might not continue this. Uh, it completely goes down on all, if you guys enjoyed so much. Oh my God, there's so many zombies. Why is there so much activity in this cave? Oh my God, they're all coming. Yes, come on. Okay, zombie, just go, go for him. Come on, woo. I'm gonna just do little tap peeks. Okay, are we go? Oh my God, there's so much. Um, mm, yep, yep. That sounds like it's going very well for all of them back there. Might be smart to try and make an arrow farm. Cause the only other way that I can think of getting arrows is going to the nether, constantly killing piglins that have crossbows. And then if we get the crossbows, you shoot them at the ground and then that's how you get the arrow out of them. And just doing that like a couple one, you know, millions of times and then boom, you get a lot of arrows. Ooh, why thank you. Oh my goodness, you're so kind to me. I can actually repair my bow. Yeah, so that's cool. So we got Strad. Wow, I kid you not, that has been months, if not years, since I've gotten a record from a creeper dying to a skeleton. Oh my god, and your bow's enchanted. And of course you don't drop it. Okay, but quickly looking around, I'm on it. Okay, but it's it's really not worth it just to stay in here because I'm not seeing any zombified villager. And honestly, who knows if I'm going to continue this world. So we might as well just not waste any of our precious hours because the 50 hours are actually coming up soon. So the more important task, wait, I, I blocked it, right? Okay. Is going to be building our base, which I really truly doubt we're going to be using all of these stone bricks. And making all of these stone bricks. I really kind of want to use wood. I really don't want to make all of our floors just out of stone bricks because one that's just going to be so ugly. And I feel like we can sacrifice some wood for, I mean, okay, we'll stay away from logs. I would love to use that, but mm, maybe we just use, you know, some spruce planks, maybe some oak planks. And the mass majority of it is going to be glass. And I think we can make a very nice looking house out of this. Now, the hard part, uh, it's going to be so tedious, but I think... We should make them all circles. I think that might look the coolest. And this is a nice open-ish area. It's not, God, making a tunnel from there to over here. 
Uh, because we don't want it too far away from our cave so that if we, you know, if I do continue this world and, you know, I get some zombified villagers, we don't have to travel too far with them to our base. So I think relatively right here should be good. Ooh, like right here looks like a really good spot for the entrance. And we don't want it too close to the top of the ocean or else, then, you know, we can't really build it that high up. And uh, yeah, I definitely don't want it to be claustrophobic inside. Now the hard part, ugh, building a circle and i hope i make you all proud you know we're not gonna make too big of a circle and boom it's only a 20 by 20 at least for the general hub i hope i make you guys proud you know i'm not trying to make everything super duper massive and you know, pointless also super sorry coral you know th this hurts me more than it hurts you but yeah we definitely need you gone then maybe we just go around with like i don't know we go in like two with the spruce oh god and i was not expecting for it to take up this much wood that's a little alarming to me don't try no 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 oh god Oh, I really hope it's possible to find saplings. Oh, if I don't find any, I hope you guys can tell me. Hi, bud. Are you, uh, you kind of stuck? Oh, look at that beautiful circle. And then maybe we just go around after seeing how much wood that took up. So maybe now we just go around with one layer of oak. Because this will make the transition really nice, I think. And then maybe we be, you know, a little foolish. You know, we do a little bit of tomfoolery and not drown. Oh my, I don't know how I always get it so close maybe for this oh wait oh god i only have 19. we then for absolutely no apparent reason we make it go down with a slab and then from this point we use glass oh good that fit oh beautiful and you know what maybe you know from the raft series uh we also just bring glass for some of the flooring but not a lot because, you know, it's not that pretty, but it would be kind of cool to see as much of the ocean as we possibly can. Because I think it still should be beautiful, even if my head isn't underwater. So we should be able to still see, like, all of this and how beautiful it looks. And, you know, maybe sometimes there could be fish that uh, swim underneath this. And then one thing that I think would actually be really, really cool for the inside, which might illuminate it, but I don't know if it'll count towards the actual blocks and prevent mobs from spawning is we come under here with some sea pickles, kind of put them, you know, here and there, make it, you know, kind of bright and beautiful. Once we're inside, oh, that would look so cool. Like imagine just walking around our base and then boom, just sea pickle. Oh yeah, the, oh, this could look so beautiful. And then the one cool thing, which we can do right now, I mean, we could do it right now, but we could put down doors right here and it's all perfectly centered. However, I think I want to make the entrance a little bit different. <gasps> Wait, no. Oh God, this is what we're going to be seeing from inside our base. Uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe it can look pretty inside because I really wish that we could see it like this. There might be some way that I can trap water that we could just step into and then we could look out at the ocean like this. Anyways, that's a problem for future me. What we can now do, which this is, ah, it's gonna be wasting some glass. Oh, okay, wait, no. So it's just nighttime that's gonna be ugly. Daytime is still kind of pretty. As long as you can get used to the fish warping through a wormhole into outer space. Wow, that is really disorienting. Oh, that is, Oh God, I don't like that. Oh, I'm getting sick. But now we just need to go around with our glass blocks and very carefully make a wall, which I think we can just skip corners like that. Yeah, yeah, we might change that out. I don't know. No, I'm gonna drown. No. Oh, and beautiful. Wow, it didn't even mess up any of the glass whatsoever. Now we kind of come into the uh, the difficult part because I don't exactly know. I mean, I can kind of guess it, but I don't know how I want to make the top part of this. Because I guess we could just kind of have it circling and going up. Maybe we just bring it in by two blocks. I think that's actually going to be the best way to go go so i think we just kind of copy the floor down below because we don't want it to be super duper pointy going up oh beautiful the only part that's not beautiful is that i have 29 glass left oh, i don't want to collect more oh my life is so difficult <laughs> and yeah oh god no 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 i was uh, 
Ooh, wasn't paying attention. But however, very sadly, yeah. Time to go and collect more sand. Uh, at the very least, while I'm here, I can also collect a lot of the, uh, the sea pickles. I have a sneaking suspicion it's just gonna be use bone meal on them and then you can grow more. And well, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in an hour. And there we go, going through all of this. Very beautiful, keeping up on all of the cooking as well. Also, I really gotta say, I'm very shocked with how much you can actually smelt, cook, whatever, with a dried kelp block. I gotta say, I kind of like this even more than lava just because of uh how easy it is to get like this is probably like the smallest farm i've ever made in my life and it's holding up really well with everything that i'm uh, cooking and using it for however with you know, no further ado uh, i can now go through and actually finish up the glass dome and then finally just to finish off the dome look i think we just fill this in with the uh, glass and uh, uh then comes the fun part which i've now realized that i should not have just cooked all of the sand that i collected because i kind of need that to clear out all of the water in here and and boop. And I think this is a pretty nice looking house, especially once we get all of that water out. And bada boom, bada bing. Okay, so now we have an airlock at every single corner around here. So we're actually almost done with this. I've now realized that the slabs might be an issue with uh, removing water. Maybe I can use a bucket for that. However, um, yeah, I don't have any sand. I could use dirt, but I truly feel that sand is going to be a lot better for removing it in there, especially since I could just use a torch to remove all of the sand in the dome. So, uh, yeah, welcome back. Yep, I uh, miss this place so much. At least I somehow found this, like, huge pocket of sand right here. So, now, Max, I'm drowning! Oh, my God, I don't know why. I never pay attention to that. I never pay attention to my, my breath. Wish that there was some kind of audio cue or something for me. However, I don't think we need much. I might just go until I break the shovel and then we should be good on sand. Probably, you know, shouldn't remove- Wait, don't I have sand in my chest? Wait a second, I think I have sand in my chest. Oh, well, I'll still collect those. Oh, don't touch me. No, 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 no. Oh my god, why are there so many jellyfish here now? However, I do greatly appreciate them because I can turn you into slime balls, which I think in the future I'm definitely going to be needing. Anyways, now the reason why I went and I gathered all that sand is boom. You, can I help you? How did you spawn in my doors? Actually, I'll keep you alive until you turn into a drowned because then I can actually, you know, get a chance at getting copper from you or I don't know. Maybe you'll drop something cool for me. Yeah. Plus, um, you're pretty chill as long as you just stay like over there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, uh, we now have a buddy. What I might actually do if he stays in here long enough for me to transform all of this into air, uh, I'm going to put him in a boat. Oh god. Oh no, you're faster. Oh no. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, don't mind me. Don't mind me. No, don't touch. Don't touch the merchandise. Just, oh my god, that sun is so blinding. Oh my god, you're fast. Hi. Wait, that was it? That was two stacks of sand and we barely even made a dent in this place? Okay. Um, yeah, I'll be back. I'm gonna go sleep. What was that? Am I, am I going to die? Oh, Gerald, I'm coming. Are you still in here, my buddy? Oh, good, good. Whew, man. Okay, I was really worried that it was going to be so lonesome in here. Don't touch me. Don't, no. No, you're such a little trickster. Well, he's not going to despawn now, but um, that's cool. So I can't place anything on the slabs. Awesome. So we might have to redo our design a little bit. Actually, wait, no, no, no. Okay, we're just going to cover you with dirt. This way you won't be annoying. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my god, why do I need oxygen? God, just evolve already. I don't know why I didn't take that door. Don't comment that. No, don't judge me. Well, he's not going to despawn now that he's holding that block. Don't touch me. Don't touch it. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. Don't, don't touch me. And oh, I know that's actually, uh, no, I'm going to trap you. Nope, mm -mm. I'm not going to give you any chances of escaping. Okay, perfect. So Gerald's trapped in there. And I know that I can go through and just start harvesting or harvesting, you know, just like mining out some of the sand and slowly moving it through. But this is such little progress on here that it's really not worth it. We might as well just go get more sand and then we can do more of the room and then we'll start, you know, recycling in there. Because, you know, we're in the ocean and, you know, we, we need to recycle in here because... I don't see any sea turtles. Oh, I'm back to destroying the ocean. Okay, beautiful. So uh, I don't know why this crater has so much sand in it, but uh, absolutely love it. Also, don't, don't drown, don't drown. Cut it so close every single time. I'm incredible. Are you still in here, my little honey muffin? Door. Oh, hey, what up? No way, you're still in here. Oh God, no, I, I don't know why. I thought he was stuck down there. So I was gonna like 
play with him a little bit. Uh, yeah, just don't mind me, bud. Yeah, yeah, nope, nope. It's, it's, dude, trust me, it's so okay that you don't need to, you know, keep trying to touch me. Probably try to trap him with some glass because I don't know if, since he's a drowned, can he even stay out of water or... Am I gonna have to make him a fish tank? Come over here. I'm gonna see if I can trap you. I can't see him and this is scary. Hello? Oh, there you are down there. Okay, let's see if I can like make like a little cage for him or something. Okay, so I'm gonna take some hits. But come on, right here. Come on. Come on, look, fresh penguin. Yeah, yeah, you want some, huh? Are you okay? Do you not know how to swim? Come on here, I'll remove this block. Come on. Okay, fine, here. Ah, you're so bougie. What, you want like a little bit bigger of a cage? Is that what? Maybe I don't even need to worry about him touching me at all because I don't even think he physically can. <gasps> yes, yes. Yes. Ow. No, 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 no. Go back in there. Go back in. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, I can push you. No, no, no. We were so close. Just come down. I, oh my God. I want to hit you into this spot so badly, but I don't want to hurt you. Wait, wait, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. Oh my God. Wait, did that just work? What? 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 Oh, there's a skeleton. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, especially since you've now hit me three times, I really don't care to keep you in here. Why are things spawning in here? I, I thought it wasn't possible for them to spawn on anything that's already in air blocks. Like I thought doors would be spawn proof, but I guess not. However, okay, this is incredible. So now we got him trapped. So I don't need to worry about him trying to come and kill me. Now let's be stupid. And I'm going to see if I can fill in this spot right here and not kill him. Wait, did that just actually work? Beautiful. Oh, and since he's already trapped, wait, this is incredible. I could just build a little like cage for him right there. And I might want to move him over, you know, one block to the left to like that block. But I think I just found him as a permanent home. <laughs> And then now all that I need to do is just go through and fill this up with sand. <gasps> Don't drown. No, 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 no. Okay, now that I've gone through and I used up all of the sand that I had, we just need to go over here and then very carefully, which this might turn out to be incredibly difficult, I need to get rid of all of the sand over here and then just, you know start replacing it which this beauty will help out tremendously and this is why i chose sand of course i could have used gravel along with this it's just i don't feel like placing down gravel putting down a torch and then oh hey look now i have flint especially if i ever need to make more dirt so usually gravel is kind of valuable to me to actually keep and this is what we would be seeing inside of our base wow oh my gosh you're seeing the rays from the sun the ocean still looks absolutely beautiful and blue out there and then i love the uh i don't know the term for this at all but like you can see all the light waves from uh like the waves from above like like all the light rays yeah. i'm trying to sound smart here but uh i love this look oh i love this mod pack so much the other section that i'm kind of confused about is going to be the slabs because i'm pretty sure that they're just water logs so if i just break you um all the sand breaks and then i can just like put water no okay first let's empty our buckets and then i can just pick you up ah okay yep very easy kind of figured so i'll just break you take that very beautiful shouldn't take us long whatsoever let me get rid of you jared is right behind that oh yeah no you can see him hey wait wait, wait. put your arm through again one more time okay fine hate you too never mind oh okay but good good okay so everything's working out very well. And I'm also very shocked that he's able to hold the block. So that's actually like really, really nice for us. Now with the wall cleared and then looking down here, the sun is starting to go down. So, you know, almost nighttime. And uh, it's kind of, you know, still really dark down here. Oh, hey, would you look at that? I have a lot of sea pickles. Now, of course, we could just spam them everywhere and that might look nice but this is kind of my idea with the base and why i go with um a glass floor i mean you know it, it always just looked really well in the raft video so that's also why i chose to do it but i think with these sea pickles because this is something that i didn't try out with uh on a raft i'm going to drown okay i won't lie i thought i was going to be able to put down a lot more with 64 but uh, apparently 64 really ain't that much oh but skies put down less than four at every single spot yeah but then it's not bright and it doesn't look as cool oh no this is a spawner room oh no 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 oh i just realized oh no everything can spawn in here i am very happy i came back there and i did that okay let's go to sleep hello are there any hidden scary monsters in here that are gonna try and kill me okay good good i like that we're uh, luckily safe in here however after showing you uh, all the process i really 
don't think it's like fun footage to watch. So I'll just see you once this entire place is uh, completely rid of water. And ta-da, we have a complete breathing space in here. And I still think I most definitely want to add more pickles down there. First off, we need to finish Jared's lovely little cage right here. But I think I also found his brother when I was swimming back over there uh, from my bed. Uh, where did he go? Well, that's creepy. I swear I'm not going insane there was a drowned over here we're most definitely not done with our base yet you know we only made this little dome area which i think i kind of want this just to be like the general hub maybe so maybe now like this spot will you know make like a little tunnel which then leads into uh, another little circle right here which hi i've never seen you before or you Wait, has this always been here hello do you have any good chest for me wait did I explore these in the past? I don't remember. But yeah, I think that's gonna be like the general idea is just making tunnels going out, making other rooms. One room I honestly really, really wanna try out because I think it'd be a lot of fun is making this into at least like a farm area, which I think I have an idea for it. The biggest question is going to be if I can actually do it with water where I need to make the water on top actually move to a certain direction so that then all of the kelp will fall down a specific spot, which I can then maybe put down like a hopper in there. You know, we can make it a little automated, but first we need to go and build everything. So sadly, I think we need to do the boring one first. Actually, wait, I'm so sorry, Jared. Let's work on you first. I think just so we can fully see him, we definitely want to make it all out of glass but first we just go through do the ceiling part for him i'm stupid i wanted to move him to the left ah. uh we're gonna be wasting some glass but oh well i'm dumb oh my god hi you move really fast wait did that just work out really well for me and i think he's actually trapped maybe we could break this and then we just break you don't touch me i mean jared definitely looks a little bit silly at times but i like that uh he'll never despawn as long as he's holding the sand block i don't even think he can hurt me okay i like that okay yeah you're not even gonna hurt me whatsoever we can perfectly see everything and i I think he's super happy being in there. He looks really thrilled to me. Okay, so important part done. Next up, we need to actually extend out a little bit, which I think every single bridge part should be maybe like four blocks wide and i think i want to make it out of stone instead of wood maybe because wood is so rare and it's like a luxury in here we only use it for part of the ground in uh, all of the rooms so then all of the tunnels will only have stone which we can be a little fancy and then maybe we use like cobbled uh no chiseled stone bricks on the edges this might look good oh we can either use coral or we can use andesite which i think andesite might be a bit better especially since then if i break coral and i use coral for some of the building blocks then i have to make sure i go around and always uh, harvest the same one or else then the designs might look a little funky maybe it'll look good with like andesite right here even though it's like super duper gray but i think that's fine and then you know i'm just bring the normal glass over put you on top uh, oh no no okay here we go this way this will block the water from coming in then i can collect these doors which we then put out here let me just get some sand and fill in the tunnel if i can my god this looks really weird okay and beautiful that was super easy <gasps> oh and then just to waste even more glass i think i can break I, I can't break that i can't break that oh god i can't break it oh i'm stupid oh i'm dumb okay good phew all the torches survived i mean i could just put glass right here and let me come back and then we break this so that then that way we have like a little bit of like a high point i don't know this might look good it might be nice. I mean, we can also just put signs up here. So it might look a little bit better, which I kind of want to, but that also costs wood and I'm scared. We still need to find bamboo now thinking about it, like thinking about sticks and stuff. Anywho's, now we can actually get back into building another circle. I think for all of the entrances to the bridges, we should just use chiseled uh, stone bricks because I don't know, it's probably like a, like a nice transition into it. I should probably bring my bed in here. I don't have to keep going back to my little cave. Oh my 
gosh, this looks so beautiful, though. Oh, I love building underwater. I'll regret saying that once I start a mega build down here in one of the episodes. Oh, it's so cute to see, like, fish left and right. Ah, oh, you're coming with me. Oh, wait, since while we're here, hello, any zombified villagers? No, just a lot of skeletons. Okay, that's cool. Okay, well, there's a zombie. There's also a creeper. Okay, well, it's not looking good in here, especially with all these lovely creepers. God, I hate skeletons. Oh, I love skeletons. Oh, wait, no, my bow's already fully healed. Oh, well, anyways, thank you. Oh, dear God, no, goodbye. Nope, I'm, I'm done. I don't want skeletons. Okay, how did you hit me? Anyways, oh, well, that's a problem for future me if you guys want this to continue. And you know what, here, we'll be kind, you know? I want to sleep right next to Jared, which I strongly don't think it'll allow me. Anyways, so I don't want to build everything to this magnitude of the hub and i think a 12 by 12 room like it's gonna be super tiny in the beginning but then maybe that's when you know we build multiple rooms for chest or i build a super duper long rectangle room and i build an auto sorting system yeah that'll take like an entire video possibly two plus at least then if i make the room super tiny uh i can build this insanely fast wait i can do it i can build it all on one single breath and boop did it all in one breath oh Oh my god, that was so close. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, I think especially for the beginning, so choosing a 12 by 12 circle for it, so you, know, you can put chest here, chest here, then you have another bridgeway going out, so I think this works perfectly fine. Plus, with it being so tiny, I'll barely use any wood whatsoever, so I like that the most. So, let's just go around, and I think this one, we just do uh, one line of spruce. Then, we just go through with some Oh, beautiful. And then I should... Okay, good, good. Okay, I still have slabs on me. Put these down here. We're just gonna keep up the general design for everything. And then let me get my dirt. And then we go glass down here. Which, also very luckily, we aren't using that much glass. Oh my gosh, I love cheap rooms. Especially ones that I can construct within like four minutes. <laughs> okay, now... What the... What was that? That was just like a cave sound, right? Or like an ocean sound? That That's not the drowned coming for me. So we'll just start building you, which just, just looks really weird to me, but oh well. And then at every single doorway, we'll just leave that open until I go and get more spruce doors. Or we just put dirt there. Right, and then we just got to extend this beauty up. Actually, I think I can just put you here. We can be stupid and break these. Then I think for this one, we just do two up front again. This might look nice. Okay, and oh no, I'm gonna drown you. Oh. Oh, see, I'm getting better. Ooh. And then, since this is smaller, we don't want this room to be as grand as this room. So then, we just go through, and we're going to close it off on this level. And, beautiful! Now, we just need to go back. Now, we just go to all of the doors, plug you up, and beautiful. Now, we just need to go through this entire thing and place down sand, which... I just gotta say, wow, it is really fun playing when you ha already have all of the resources for a building. Like, wow, I didn't have to go anywhere and collect. Ah, oh, so nice. And there we go. Now, the hard part is that uh, I kind of need to make my way towards my bed. Yeah, actually, uh, I'm kind of scared of things spawning in here. Which, luckily, okay, nice. We're still safe in here. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, Jared's just going for a workout. Beautiful. Okay, can I sleep with him right there? Of course not. Okay, well, I'm sorry, Jared. It's nothing against you whatsoever. I, I, uh, I'm gonna nappy over here. And then I guess we can actually just work our way over from here. Splish, splash, getting rid of the sand. Bom, 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 bom. Man, I really miss land. I just lose a torch. Wait, no, are you under? What did that slab do? Wait, no, I only had eight. My own building just rubbed me. Bada boom, bada bing. Now our chest room is complete. But yeah, this is actually what I wanted. So it's a nice, cute little uh, room. And then if we ever need more, you know, we'll just extend it. But I think we're good for now. I'm kind of tempted, you know, at some rooms... Instead of having the glass go down, what if we put it up here so it's flushed out with uh, the blocks up here so you don't drop anywhere? Might be needed in some rooms. However, oh, no, no, no. I need to light you up. No, do not want. Oh, God, especially if a creeper were to respawn in here. No. Okay, we need to quickly go make more torches before it ends up being nighttime. Boom, bop, bing. Okay. Uh, do I feel like moving everything over right now? Mm, no, no, I'm kind of lazy. I won't lie. Okay, beautiful. Now that we're protected and i 
honestly kind of want to make that kelp farm room, which I think for that, we need to make like a glass staircase going down to here because we want this to be as low as possible. I mean, we can also just have it go out of the water, but I don't, I don't know if I want to have anything come above water. I mean, it wouldn't be any part that we go to. It's literally just the farm that would go up because I'm pretty sure that kelp can grow a lot longer than this, especially since we already have one reaching all the way up here, unless this is the max, which I guess we wouldn't need to make our building go above water. Part of it might have to. Also, given uh, how tall this thing is, we should probably harvest you. Almost about ready to start eating kelp. Yeah, I definitely want to make an automatic farm for this right now in this episode. Really don't want to have to keep swimming around collecting it. And now, uh... <laughs> It ain't much, but it beats fishing and swimming around and turning tropical fish into cod. So, uh, yep, now we just have to eat dried kelp. Okay, so we're still gonna make the staircase going down, and then we'll just have the room start around here. So then, luckily with all of these that I've made, I, mm, I honestly think we might only need, like, 32, maybe less. Of which, oh god, please don't flood the house too badly. Or at all. Okay, sweet, I'll take that. And then we just gotta put down the beautiful blocks. Okay, beautiful, beautiful nothing got destroyed that's what we like to see and we just go bop boom and then honestly we probably should make it look nice from outside whenever we're swimming around so we'll just put staircases going down and on the back of them which not bad then we can actually go around and collect more sand and i kind of want to have this room fuse into the land so i don't really want to make it like super flat around everywhere i kind of want to make it look like this place is just resting on the land not like like destroying it and like re uh transforming the land you know of which i think for this room because okay so it's gonna be based off of the center and having all of the kelp there so a 12 by 12 can work unless we don't put in the slabs then that would be pretty decent i think that would be good enough actually yeah maybe we do a 12 by 12 room because then we just want to have slabs in there and then boom we're totally fine Okay, I like that. I'll just be a super tight walkway. That's the only issue. Actually, I'll have to put blocks here. We might only have like one, <laughs> a one wide uh, lane to walk around and break everything, which it might work. No, no, we're going to do 14 by 14. Then we'll have a little bit more walking room. Okay, sorry. I'm nerding out right now. I know like no one cares about it. Um, we're just going to go two on both sides. And now to make it look like it's resting with the land. So this might be a little bit tricky. I think we just build with the stone going through the land right here because there's no point in putting glass on the wall so I can, you know, stare at sand. Wow, what a beautiful sight. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and here we go. The entire layout of the farm. So now, even though I said no terraforming, but we need to clear out all of the land in here because I actually need this to be flat. And then maybe we actually just leave the stone and maybe... No, no, no. We're going to change out the ground. We got to make it look fancy. Okay, now that you can't even see anything whatsoever down here. Ah, beautiful. Burn your retinas. Now for this one, I think we'll just do the same. I guess... Okay, first we're just gonna go around once with spruce wood. I'm gonna drown. Okay, son, honey, I, I need you to go up like a little bit more so I can actually see what I'm working on. Now, given I will be needing a lot of kelp, but I don't think we need it to be like this massive. Plus, I also have to worry about how far I can hit. So maybe we now just do like a second round of spruce. God, I wish I could see. Oh no, but I don't wanna drown either. I would rather have oxygen. Okay, now with my limited visibility, I think that's all good, but I think we want to go one deeper. And then obviously, you know, we're just going to use oak planks for this. I think this is where all of the glass will go for the kelp farm. And then even though I just went through and I got rid of all of the sand down here, let's place the sand back down because I'm smart. And then boom. So this is where all of the kelp will be growing. And my idea is that, so it's all going to go straight up to the surface. There's one thing that I did back in my hardcore world, which, you know, I haven't uploaded in a year. No, I don't know when I'm going to make the next episode. I'm, uh, greatly enjoying doing other things than uh that series right now so you can actually make it so that water on top will all lead a specific direction so my 
thought process is that we have the kelp go all the way up here like normal. The water will then all push it to one side right here. How do you make it fall? Uh, do, wait, don't they fall after a little bit? I don't think they stay floating forever, right? Wait, no, 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 no. I'm smart. I'm smart. We use magma blocks and it sucks the blocks down. Can I put a hopper above a magma block? But it still suck down the blocks and collect which i guess then if it doesn't i can make another water channel that'll push the blocks forward above it because i'm pretty sure items can still move even though there's like a magma block above it i think that would work no that wouldn't work oh god Ugh. i need to use so much brain power right now i didn't even know that was a thing wait oak window spruce window sand dune i uh, know that's sandstone that's not sand dune ah uh, okay so i think i can make it in a way to where the items will get sucked down here okay beautiful so i'll suck them all down right there but what happens if i put a hopper on top okay it renders them useless there's an easy way to do this i just know it because i don't think i could put a hopper below the block i don't think that's gonna work <gasps> wait minecart a minecart can i believe right okay wait 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 let's test this out i'm wasting so much iron but oh well hopefully we'll have an iron farm in the future i didn't need to make a minecart cool now if i can get a hopper minecart to work i can then put hoppers behind this and then boom we can have a chest right here i'll just swap this out for stairs which i can face this direction so then you can't even tell these are stairs oh my gosh wait if this works please Please let this work. Don't drown, don't drown, don't drown, don't, 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 don't. Wasn't expecting it to be this hard, but I should have brought another rail. Why did I only bring one? So we have these two beauties right here. How do I get out? Because water's gonna destroy this. Oh man, okay, this is a little tricky. I don't know if I beat it. I I don't think I beat it. We need to make ourselves a little bit bigger of a working area. Oh my god, I actually did beat it. Okay, sick. Okay, so we'll just cover you back up. What we actually need to do first, need to break these again. Now, this is where, um, okay, first off, boom, boom, and then we put down hopper, hopper on top of the hopper we put rail rail which we then put you guys onto. beautiful now i just get out of this hole we then come over here and we break the floor right here remove the dirt so now i have access to these hoppers sort of maybe kind of maybe if, if i if i can grab it maybe okay now that i have access to the hoppers beautiful now we can just remove where did that dirt go okay so if i chuck sand here why are you not going anywhere uh it's because it's not water source okay now i'm stuck and now i'm getting hurt okay still getting hurt okay stop hurting me okay boom water elevator works all the way to the surface so now if i just toss in some sand oh my god wait they actually got collected we come down to here nothing Oh my god, wait, did I just get it to work? No way. Oh no, stop hurting me. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Let me free, let me free. Ow, ow, stop it, stop it, stop it. Release. Lava blocks, release. Magma, stop it, stop it. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Oh my god, okay, that is a huge, like a humongous part actually completed. So that's amazing. So now I'm very confident in the farm. The next difficult part, we'll just do it on a small scale. Honestly, I think we just, you know... Just do it like this. And then I think I just need to block the water in just like this. Then we put water here. So this is uh, where all the kelp will go and you know, it's gonna move over here. But then we just break the blocks. We break everything. Oh my God, wait, it actually worked. No way. I mean, we'll probably have to build guardrails. I already see that being an issue. So, but what if, you know, it just, it does go up. Oh, okay, no, I don't want to pick you up. We might have to make it completely controlled. So let's actually just rebuild this. I need to remove the water. Okay, it returns back to normal. We might actually just have to build the farm and then test it this way. No. How many blocks are you from the farthest point? One, two two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you two are an issue, so 
We might have to build a double decker. We might need the legendary double decker. Also, we need to expand this to fit all of that. Stop. Okay, before I even build all of that, so I'm very confident that this entire plan of mine is going to work flawlessly. However, I only have two more magma blocks, you know, which I'll cover this side. However, yeah, I need two more. And luckily, you know, there are these ruins nearby my base. Huh, really nice. Okay. I don't know if I left any of the magma blocks over here. Oh, <gasps> might be. Oh, there's two more. Oh my God. They're literally perfect. Oh, <gasps> there's even three. Just collect all the ones over here. This is beautiful. I mean, obviously I could just make a portal to the nether, you know, we could just get unlimited there, but this is way more fun. You know, I want to stay in the ocean, not the nether. I'm too scared to go there now because I've uh, I've been in there for too long. <laughs> Ooh, and we got more. Okay, cool. But, well, uh, don't care for you, so I'll just take all the other stuff. And then, do you have any hidden ones? No. Nope. Might as well just bite the bullet, make as many hoppers as we can, because I'm pretty sure we all know I'm just going to be using all of them in the future for future stuff. Yeah, maybe part two, that's when we focus on an iron farm, which, dear God, that's going to, oh, oh God, trying to get uh, villagers. Oh, man. Oh, no. We might actually have to go mining right now. Okay. Um, I should have made the mine carts first and then the hoppers. Yeah, that was not smart. Yeah, because I need four. Well, I mean, we do have a cave system right here. Oh, nice. There's a lot of zombies. Any villagers? Let's see. Wow. Okay. Well, there are a lot. Oh, <gasps> oh my God. Oh, oh, we're making a boat. We're making a boat. Make a boat, 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 boat. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is huge. Just throw everything in here. I don't care. We'll just get organized later. Wood, where are you? There you go. Good, good, good. Oh my God. This is so huge. Future me is going to love me so much. I can't can't believe we actually found one. Okay, good, good. He didn't despawn. Actually, can you just blow up? <gasps> yes, yes. Follow me, buddy. Yes. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <gasps> okay, good. You come in first. Okay, never mind. We're all just gonna be coming in. Okay, yep, yep. Don't mind me. Just need to block that off. Okay, perfect. Uh, here, you. Come on. I just need the villager, not you. Or you. Okay. I just want to get rid of you. Perfect. We actually have a villager zombie. And I have an okay an unbreaking two chest piece well hey let me go uh put this on the anvil cost two and you cost six so no thank you i'll just take you boop boop i am completely stunned i wow i genuinely was not expecting that hi okay i uh, wasn't expecting all of you to still be right here but good good there are a lot of zombies so we might be able to get lucky and get another villager uh cool i think i have to go back to the stone age can you guys chill a little bit just so i can like come inside and get some of the loot on the ground like dang there's a lot of you wait are there zombies on the ocean part as well yeah because now you're drowned well i really hope that you weren't a villager why are there zombies above me Hello? oh oh i know why are you guys over here hi um i can't lie if i do find a zombie villager in here i might just have to kill him because i just really don't want to make the track all the way back home <gasps> there's a witch what oh my god oh my god wait that just saved so much time oh my god wait 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 i swore my life i did not spawn any of this in oh my god this is insane no i forgot to cover up the hole come on come on come on i don't have time to waste okay wait that witch that witch should actually be like right around here okay wait, wait wait first let's go make a boat that's heavily important low zombie yes please go away but i think the witch should roughly be like right here i just i keep hearing her yeah she's like right here good good hi witch hi bitch i oh hi, hi witch bye witch oh okay very quickly we need to go and get rid of all of you guys or at least just get rid of your way up here okay good no other way up here right Okay, good. Don't blow me up. Why did you do half of my health with your sword? What are you carrying? Oh my god, that hurts. Uh, uh, witch, please don't come down here right now. Yep, I'm gonna need you to put in uh, some overtime work, okay? I desperately need to heal. Okay, I think we need to go get some other food just to heal right now. My god, I didn't realize how bad kelp was. We're making bread. There we go. Now we're healing. Okay, we should be clear. Okay, good, good. Where's the witch? I believe for a witch, she actually needs three three blocks to get down from what I've seen in the past. So that should be good. I see her. Don't want to see you though. Good, good. You follow, please, please. Yes. Thank you. Just run, just run, just run. Get out of my way. Just run, just run. Oh my God. She is really fast. Ooh. Bread, bread, bread. Just in case if I need to heal more. Come on, come, come through here. Come through here. Come on. 
Yes, good, good. Yeah, yeah, you poison yourself, stupid. Fine, come through this. There you go, just come through, just come through. I don't know how, but I'm dodging your potions. I'm down here, come down here. Get in the boat, get in the boat, just in the boat. Just get into the boat, into the boat. Okay, you're starting to piss me off, just get into the boat. Don't get with the zombie. Okay, I think I need to hide and heal. She's kind of making me a captive. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, I just need to break the boat. And then just get them into separate ones. Don't poison me. Don't poison me. Come on. Come on. Just throw it. Oh, okay. It was really lame. Okay. Yep. Good. Just get into the boat. One of you. One of you into one boat. Thank you. Okay. You follow me. Stop. Okay. Good, good. Yes, yes. Just come all the way down here into this boat. Away from him. Why is there a skeleton coming? Why is there a skeleton on the opposite side of this wall? Go, no, no. Go away. <gasps> oh, no. I thought it was an enchanted bow on the ground. Am I blind? We're just going to very quietly just... Take a peek. We're gonna see if our luck continues. See if there's any more zombie stuff. Regular zombie, creeper, creeper, zombie in the back. I'm trying to think of how to like secure this so that they can't come down. Um, I guess the other way is just getting rid of all of this and then they, you know, they just can't come up here and then I just jump up. Anyways, a lot of zombies. Not really seeing much other than two creepers coming my way and blowing up. Just like that. Okay, good, good. I like it how we, we work together, you know? Me and the creepers, we have, like, mutual respect now, you know? I let them go boom, boom, and they kill all the enemies for me. If only I can have that same relationship with all the skeletons. I think, honestly, it's fine to just end it here and just go back to making the kelp farm oh nice they're actually fighting each other for once oh no there's actual iron in this cave oh i want to stay so badly oh yeah no nope sorry enemies uh, you're gonna have to get used to me being here for just a little bit okay i just i need this iron i just need one more mine cart which i actually think that's enough iron for it so you need to stay healing i don't know why it's bright up there i don't like how that skeleton just looked at me and he just started coming over here how did you shoot me? Is there any more iron at all? Well, it's not looking like it. Oh my God. That was one of the most action-packed lucky scenes I've ever had. I've never seen my luck be that good. Wow. I really, really want to make a part two on this now. This world is something special. And yeah, they should permanently stay here forever. Throw it again. Come on. Chuck it. How did that hit me? Don't, 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 don't. I hate you so much. We're just gonna stay right here and just heal for a little bit. Okay, just run. Wait for another. Go, 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 go. Stop trying to poison me. Good, you got affected too. I hate you. Anyways, back to the nerdy stuff. I mean, ideally, first we need to go kill the jellyfish because I already know he's gonna come for me. No, I don't know where SpongeBob is. Next up, I guess we'll be smart. We're just gonna be using dirt. Plan out exactly where the walls need to go. So the walls are gonna go up to here because this needs to be two blocks tall now this is roughly the entire area you know it'll go all the way down there to uh, my magma blocks however the issue is that this is 11 blocks long so for these first three we need the water to actually come up even higher also okay no, i need to get more dirt i do not want to build this out of wood and boom so with our dirt boat i think think okay so we're just gonna be building it out of dirt first just because you know it's super easy to plan out everything with this and then we'll just go and make it look beautiful later why are you not why are you not spreading are you being weird good good yes okay it goes all the way down here exactly like how i wanted i think at this point we can actually just remove the floor of this so we see the entire ocean so i'm still very curious to see the bubbles will go all the way up here god i hope this works now the fact that i keep on collecting dirt from those hoppers every single time that i remove something this is built correctly we just need to extend this down quite a way or all the way which i'll probably end up doing that honestly however first before we get you know to uh, all that fun stuff up there first we need to go through and actually build up this which once again uh yeah we're gonna build like a big hub around this try not to touch any of the seagrass pretty sure it's just this far out because we just need two on the left and the right and just load up more hoppers did i bring rails uh oh, of course i didn't bring any rails why would i that would have been smart that would have been me planning well uh, okay so we do that then we break you and then i go get rails wait no 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 oh my god Whew. oh man i'm so so happy i thought of this before i just continued or else i would have had to put down three double chests 
Actually, we need all of these hoppers to go into these two. Then we can go and put the rails on this. And then you go there, you go there. Boop and bing. Oh my gosh, I, I think this is actually completed. Just fill in all of this. Then we get the sand. The sand back into there and boom. Then I said, let there be light and lit in all the water. Ah, man, I didn't want to break that seagrass. Ugh, trying to keep this place as natural as possible. Okay, yeah, I think... I think every single magma block's actually working. I was kind of shocked because I thought I would have to put uh, source blocks back in there, but I guess not. And then did I pick up anything? Yep, beautiful. Now that I believe everything is actually set up perfectly, I guess now we can go around here and we can make this look beautiful. Um, first thought that comes to mind that probably all of you are thinking a boat i kind of don't want to do that though because that'd be very obstructive or it, it would just look like an eyesore and it's not gonna look that good the most that i probably want to do is going to be putting down chiseled stone bricks like here and here you know put at every single corner that might look nice and then in between every single one of these I would love to put like logs here, but you know, again, that'd be very uh, eyesore-y. So I do have a lot of glass and I think the best look for all of this is just using glass and especially for the collection area over there, just so we can still see everything. Cause you know, the ocean's super beautiful. I kind of want to see it all. And I believe this will also not really give that many shadows. So especially with this shader pack, you know, uh, shadows are kind of like overpowered it's where you can't even see. So I really don't want this to block my base right there. Okay, beautiful. See how much nicer this is? And then, you know, we can still see the pretty blue water in here. Plus, I can always, you know, double check and make sure that everything is completely fine up here because, you know, if this ever breaks, then I uh, kind of have to almost rebuild it all. It becomes very annoying. Now, kind of comes the tricky part. Now, before we actually uh, make the collection area, we should probably make the room. And given how I'm almost out of glass, I just really don't want to use this sand. I would really like to try and save it, you know, so I can clear out rooms really easily. Maybe we try a new approach to... To this building maybe we you know we use some stone bricks which i need to go get more okay so my reasoning with using some stone uh, bricks here instead of using glass is that maybe just because it's the farm so it's like oh it's on the ground you know it's helping holding up the other structures you know so we need it to be uh like a tad bit stronger oh ow i just don't know how i want to do this part of the room oh i wish i could see the future and how i'm going to be building all this just so i could just copy myself because this isn't part of the building this is supposed to be an extension so maybe we'll be safe with this because we're gonna funnel down all of the items so they only oh my god dude holy i just got so scared i one of the bubbles like one of these thingies right there i thought that it was a spider like a giant monster spider running at me oh my god that was so scary oh oh my god okay other than very creepy spiders so maybe we actually just continue the wall up this direction like this which this also might help funnel the kelp into this okay so i think all of the pillars on this direction are Good. Then let's just bring them all in one more. Actually, let's just bring them in one block. Then maybe, oh God, is this even possible? What if I put like a stone circle around all of this? Maybe, okay, no, no, okay. Let's go in one more. Ooh, beautiful. And it's so beautiful that I don't even think that I need to look up how to make a circle for this. I'm, I'm very positive it's just like this. You know, I'm just gonna you know, wrap you around and then, you know, we just go bop, boom, then we break you. Okay, perfect. And I think that'll be a decent top part. Now just comes the hard part of glass. Okay, nice. So that's actually completely covered. And then especially since it looks like this, yeah, we're just gonna close you off. We don't want any other bridge pathway on this side. And then I believe I can actually just completely close this off. I don't think I need any access to these. The hard part is now covering up the staircase. Uh, like I hate using this much stone. I would love to use uh, like actual wood logs for this. Whoa. <gasps> Wait, no, 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 no. 
Actually, here, we'll be a little bit smarter. We'll be a little bit more fancy. We're gonna use chiseled, yes. And for the staircase, I think it's actually just really easy. We just do this all the way down. Oh God, no, oh, okay. Uh, Only for the top part. Actually continue at this height, okay. Then from here, we then bring it over, yes. Yes, okay, beautiful, beautiful. No, no, no! Oh, I need to have like an alarm. I need a clock on me that's just like, hey, you need to breathe. Like I'm used to it in Subnautica, you know, there, there'd be a lady telling me, hey, go breathe, dummy. But I think I built the walls tall enough. I mean, I'm going to be smacking my head on the glass every single time, but you know, oh well, it might be funny or something. But I think everything is actually completed. Now the hard part is going to be building you. So honestly, just for the view of it, just because like we're not really going to be seeing too much of the ocean from here. So we're going to want some kind of an ocean view down here at least. So I think the bottom of this, we're actually going to be making this out of glass. It's going to be expensive, but oh well. And then, yep, just like that, we only have a one block pathway. Uh, just like the thing that I really wanted to avoid, but oh well. Um, if anything, I can actually just start removing some of the stone bricks from here. Oh my god, no, I'm gonna drown! Okay, beautiful. So, this part is just because, you know, you don't need to actually hit down for any of the kelp. I'm just gonna be crouching, and then you just go brrrr, and you just do that, and then boom, everything's fixed. Then, this is where we're going to be hitting through, but until I get rid of the water... This goes up. Okay, then... Oh my god, this is such a beautiful shot. Oh, here you go. For anyone that, you know, likes to take screenshots, here you go. Oh my god, wait, this actually, like, perfectly lines up with the stone structure up top. <gasps> no way. Did I accidentally build this perfectly? And then... We just go boop, boop, fill in every single corner. And then just like that, uh, I'm now going to drown. But now, I mean, if I just put doors on it right here, I think this is completely encased. Yeah, no, we 100% need to remove this. Ideally, nowadays, I don't want to build massive things just for it to be massive. I want everything to have a purpose. So I think a two block... Uh, wide walkway should be totally fine for us. Yeah, because over here it meshes with the ground perfectly. So, you know, you get a little bit of a walkway. So over here, we just need, you know, change it and fix it all. God, I wish that was iron and I wish I had more oxygen. And then just so things are easier in here. Yeah, I'm gonna go through, just remove all the water in this. What was that noise? Hello? Okay, I thought I just heard something taking damage, but uh, never mind, I guess. Uh, so there I was, you know, finishing up uh, the place down there um why is there ice forming around this and then on top of that the water is actually disappearing up here oh my god don't tell me don't tell me that this random ice monster now is just did this just ruin my farm i mean it's super hard to tell but i think everything still works i i think i'm fine what happened why is there ice do i actually need to go through and make sure you know uh, everything doesn't randomly freeze over like i'm i have never seen this happen before i'm in a warm ocean and it's spreading what is going on does glass freeze water this is so bizarre to me i don't know if those torches up there are melting the water down here do i need to expand my torches why are you stop expanding why is there ice i'm so confused if anyone has a uh, answer for this i'd greatly appreciate it because i don't really know what's going on at all i feel like i should go through and actually break all the ice or else it's going to expand to the entire ocean Oh my god, it's it's literally growing in front of my eyes. Why are you doing this? You make no sense. Ice can't form in a warm place, you know, unless there's like a lot of pressure, but there's not a lot of pressure here. Do I need to like encompass this little build with blocks? Like, do I need to put glass around here or something? Okay, all of the mystery ice is now gone. The most important part is I don't want ice to form up here because it actually removed four of the source blocks. So almost got in trouble. Uh, I am very happy I looked up. Oh my God, no, 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 no. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. He was just chilling there. He was just waiting. He's like, oh yeah, his stupid's gonna walk over here and make me explode. Oh my god. Uh, uh, everything just went through my mind. Holy, I thought I was about to lose my uh, 
a good chunk of that room. Oh my god. Hello? Did you despawn? Didn't realize I was playing a horror game. Oh god, I didn't realize we were playing Scare Skies right now. Well, what happened to the creeper? Oh. Oh. Cool. I have a tropical fish farm. Okay, that's cool. I guess there's no creeper now. Uh, okay. At the very least, I can now take these doors and I can remove the dirt. Dude, where did that creeper go? I... It did not despawn. There's no way. And there goes all the torches that I just placed down. Okay. Okay. At least now the place is completely lit up. It should not be possible for anything to spawn in here. Now, the annoying part since I built this so low, I mean, given I probably should have built it higher, but I like how this is flushed with the ground out there. So, you know, it's not an eyesore, but we'll need a break you uh i need stairs i'm just traumatized now I, I just i keep expecting to see something around this uh okay anyways so there might there might be a way to do this i mean if i destroy this and then i place the staircases facing that direction we would see them like this so you know it would just be completely hidden but this looks kind of cool you know like what if i just put them down like that well at the very least you know we get to see that i would love to see the magma blocks because that looks super cool to me also give me that back wow oh, okay you work really fast unless maybe i do it like this that might be cool wait i think that's cooler Ooh, i kind of like that uh awesome i didn't bring a chest okay well uh lap number two okay then we just place the chest right there it can still open it so now whenever you know any of the tropical fish or kelp fall down here boom uh i'm gonna leave the dirt there I guess now we might as well, just because, you know, they take a few minutes, you know. Might as well go and harvest all of this. Then we'll just come over here, fill in the ground. Wow, this is going to produce a ton. <laughs> I am now realizing, whoops, uh, how, oh no. Ah, no, I'm messing it all up, stop. I'm now realizing uh, how much all of this is okay but beautiful this looks completely done and then honestly what we can do is because you know i don't feel like going back to my base and dropping all the kelp there boop there we go i picked up every single one of our kelp then if we just run in all the way back here beautiful all the kelp has been collected oh i just realized every single thing and there's going to be absolutely filled to the brim when I harvest this. Oh, oh, that's gonna be beautiful. I guess technically right now I could remove all of this dirt. We might be safe. Of course not. Cool. Nope. Okay. Uh, that means that I kind of need to figure out a way to make it so that the water doesn't flow out. I don't know why it does. I'm only going to assume it's because of the kelp. We could put down signs. <gasps> Trap doors. Trap doors. Oh, <gasps> wait. Ooh, ooh, that might be a fix. Okay, so if I go around here, boop, quickly put you down. Oh, 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 I'm too smart. Oh my goodness. Oh, God. What? Excuse you? Hey, 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 hey. Why are you not acting like the rest? <sighs> Fine. Okay, so I guess you baited me. Oh, all of these work, but the corners don't. Okay, so what if I just fill in that? And then, you know, we leave the, uh, the trap doors. Oh, dang it. We leave the trap doors because, you know, they look cool. Wait, but why are you flowing out? Okay, wait, do you stop you? The trap door stops that, but not that. Uh-huh. I can't be the only one that is confused by this. Yeah, I don't get that. Unless, do the corners need to be on top? No. Uh-huh. Huh. Well, that makes absolutely zero sense to me. Okay, I mean, this actually looks kind of sick. Uh, this luckily doesn't block me from hitting anything. And I guess, like, for some realism, you know, this actually kind of makes it work. Because, you know, oh, here's the support beam. <gasps> Wait. Oh, I remember I accidentally hit one of the kelp inside. Ooh, is it still there? Uh-huh, I knew it. You can't hide it from me. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. It's very beautiful, and I just have to make sure that I'm very careful and I only hit straight. Next up. So, this is when I'm starting to have issues. One, I'm almost completely out of glass. Two, I, mm, I kind of want to continue the glass going all the way up. Like I really want to. 
Ah, but that takes so much glass. So much glass. Um, uh, but I think it's gonna be worth it. However, I knew I was gonna be needing a lot more glass. So I went and I started to smelt some of my sand into more glass. Then we just need to expand this all the way up, which I already know a lot of you would probably say, oh, you don't need to extend it up that much. You know, you just have to make sure that it's up far enough and then the items will just, you know, always stay in here. No, no, I'm okay. I like to make sure, you know, 100% certain that every single one of these uh, items that fly up are going to go into the collection area. So even though it's a lot more expensive, I am completely okay with, you know, using a lot of glass for it. Also by building up the glass walls and preventing anything from going in, uh, I won't have any random tropical fish end up in my chest because, you know, like they're cool and everything. I, I would appreciate it more if it was cod because then, you know, I can eat it. I just realized something. Uh, I might have to do this on the future if we do this again and i go to the nether i it might be really smart to swap out all of that sand for soul sand because then it'll forcefully push everything up and then i mean okay i can't really get up there actually no no this shouldn't ruin anything now that the glass is extended all the way up there's a glass going over here and then Finally, the kelp will go, 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 boop, and then it gets sucked all the way down. So very luckily, this is almost completely done. However, just a little bit more glass because now I want to make sure that all of the kelp can actually hit into these and, you know, not land like there. And then, you know, I just, I look up and then I just see, you know, uh, some kelp just sitting there being like, ha ha, he he, you'll never collect me. And wow, that very luckily perfectly matched up with everything. Oh my God. Oh, that's, that's really bad. Um, oh, got to break glass. Okay, yep, I need to be very careful that I do not get sucked down there. And boom. So this beautiful glass monstrosity where, we're, you know, we can now see the entire ocean without shaders on, very weirdly enough. I think this is 100% done. Uh, I could put a roof on top of this so items can't fly out of it or something. Or if there are birds, you know, they can fly into it. However, I do don't think we need to change anything whatsoever. All of the kelp is completely contained into there, and then boom, it'll, you know, all be collected right down into there. And I think we have some kelp grown, so we can test this out. First off, we just need to come over here and then see you. Okay, 64 and 40. So now, if I just go through and, you know, just la da 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 di, just start breaking all of these. Okay, well, we can now watch them all float up top. <gasps> yes. Okay, that's good. <gasps> yes they're shooting over and then yes we're seeing them get sucked down beautiful now we have 57 this entire thing very luckily actually works kind of so i guess not all of them float all the way to the top so i still might have to swim in here maybe of what here we'll just put a glass block right there so i can always come over here and step up it Okay, uh, yeah, okay, so it seems like there might be a maximum height that some items go to while others don't. Yeah, because that's not even going down. So, I think that's going to be perfect for part two then, because we'll have to go to the nether, and we have to swap out all of that sand for soul sand. But that still worked, wow, very beautifully. Oh my gosh, I love this base so far. Oh, it's so beautiful and amazing. Yeah, I need, why is there potion effects? Wait, 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 wait. Was that picked up on camera? There was like dozens of bubble, like potion effects going up right there. There's no witch in here, right? Okay, that was ominous. There's nothing above, so... Okay, well... Other than that weird bubbly stuff. Oh, also, yeah, we should probably finish this off. So we're going to have, you know, wood going there. Uh, let's also break the blocks around the chest. You know, we're going to make this at least look pretty. And boom. Okay, that looks perfect to me. I mean, realistically, we could even just change this out with stairs that I didn't bring with me. Actually, yeah, let's go do that. I think that'll look a lot cooler. Oh, this base is looking so cool. Oh, and we only started. Okay, then boom, boom. Okay, perfect. Yes. Yes, yes. Ooh, I love my kelp farm. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so now that that is all fixed, I mean, in the future, we'll probably swap out these with furnaces and then we can just start cooking the kelp right then and there. You know, that might be a fun idea. Also, funny enough, um, I'm not seeing the ice anymore. So 
so I am truly confused on what that was. Like, I don't think glass has a freezing property, so I, I don't know what was happening there. However, very sadly, it's that time in the movie that all of you... Uh, Hey, it's now the second day, the 50 hours are up, and I personally think that we have done a tremendous amount on here. I, I think we know we've covered a decent base for episode one. If you guys want me to, you know, continue this and make a part two, that'd be very awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the adventure. I hope you guys like the world so far. If you have any recommendations on stuff to build in here, any improvements, your thoughts on everything, I read the comments, so that'd be greatly appreciated appreciated and we have so much more to do so i hope you all enjoyed the movie and i'll see you guys next time see ya